Do you want to do it? Oh, am I doing it? We <laughs> should have talked about this before. <laughs> it's your show. No, I'm Jerry. Uh, this is Kiko, obviously. Okay. Uh, Hi. Uh, ghostly behind the camera. We Woo. got Josh on the decks and our friend Will from Atomic Mass Games. Hey, guys. Uh, How you doing? So, last time we played, and yep. it's vitally important to assert that I won that game. You did. You it won. Was very, it was a long slog, but I did it. You won with authority in that game. Indeed, yes. indeed. Now, uh... You said, hey, we have some cool stuff coming mm -hmm. up later. And I was like, please come back. But then it snowed a lot. It did um, snow a lot. But it all melted. Yes. Um, and you have brought with you a, a co-op yep. scenario. So this is part of your like yeah. organized, friendly local game store play type situation, yeah, right? So, yeah, so one of the big things that we wanted to do when developing Marvel Crisis Protocol was we wanted to make sure that there were a bunch of different game modes that were kind of like either planned for or built in from the start. Yeah, um, and one of those, and several of those game modes kind of revolved around um, cooperative play. Um, so one of the big things with like Marvel and the universe and the great stories, right, is that a lot of times you see team ups yep. of like a bunch of superheroes that come together, or even villains and heroes that come together, and they're fighting one like larger than life threat, right? Like your Thanos is, like your Ultrons, right? Um, even your Red Skulls at time, like depending on what's going on. So we wanted to kind of capture that in its own unique game mode that opens up co op, um, where two basically two players are in a desperate gambit to try to stop one superpowered player, which of course is me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the very first one that we did is completely playable out of the core box, and it's available for free online. Mm -hmm. um, so you can download all the materials that we're going to play with today to do this special story narrative scenario. Um, and it's called um, All Will Be Metal. And so the, the basic setup for this story is that Ultron has created a doomsday device underneath our, our fair city here. No! Um, he's getting ready to destroy everything and turn it all into metal. And of course our heroes, um, our, our crisis teams as they're called, which are played by you and Kiko, mm -hmm. that's right. um, have been built and you've shown up and you're going to try to foil my plans. Um, the way in which you're going to do this is you're basically going to try to rescue civilians. Mm -hmm. So you want to find civilians um, hiding on the table right. and so, bring them into this home base point. Yeah. And then you're also potentially going to try to knock me out. But of course, I'm a very powerful being, um, so knocking me out might not be the best play. Right. In this case, it means huge defensive dice yep. for every mode of attack Lo that we lots have. Lots of stamina <laughs> and a lot of like really nasty things I get to do with you to you if you attack. Um, but really, the whole concept of the thing was how do we kind of grab that narrative, that story that's so present in kind of the two-player mode, and bring that to a co-op mode that adds a lot more elements of like kind of a more traditional board game experience where you're having fun. It's a great way to introduce people who don't necessarily play miniatures games. Yeah. Because you know you can help out poor Kiko who doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Because he doesn't really even understand what a dice it's is. It's sad. Classic it is, situation. It is sad. I know. <laughs> um, and of course, like depending on how nice or mean I want to be, it can be you know anywhere from like a a GM experience where I'm kind of walking you through and, yeah. and not trying to like necessarily win. Right. Or the way that we're gonna do it because we're all we're all adults here and, and we're all very hardcores. I'm just gonna try to destroy you. Like exactly. utterly. But like but, obliterate you. And among other things, that doesn't that isn't just an index of your own skill and experience. It's also because this mode that we're playing has mm -hmm. a hard mode. Yes. Right? So so the other thing, yeah, as you point out, is there are, there are multiple um, levels of encounter. There are multiple difficulties because who doesn't love an insane mode that even the developers have never beaten? Yeah, nightmare mode. Right, <laughs> and, and those are in here. So yeah. there, there is an insane mode um, that we do for each different ultimate encounter, and we're, we're building several of these, and they're all different experiences, right? Um, we showed Thanos off at PAX Unplugged not too long ago before mm -hmm. the snow happened and our Tauntauns couldn't reach the first markers. No, no, yeah, um, it's super far away. Super far away. Uh, and of course, he comes with one where he's fully loaded with the Infinity Gauntlet. So as bad as Ultron might seem to be to you, <laughs> you can only imagine how much worse... It gets worse. That this Thanos is just a robot. With, right, a robot with no Infinity Gems. We have a Thanos coming with all the Infinity Gems. Yeah. Um, but it was about like kind of applying those different experiences. And of course, um, in each one, there's a tutorial mode, which is kind of to design to just introduce somebody to the concepts of Marvel Crisis Protocol. Yeah. Also to learn kind of how the boss works in Ultimate Encounters. Yeah. And then there's um, basically normal, hard, and insane. Um, and insane modes are always off the chain. So we're not going to play insane. Um, we're we're going to do hard today because I feel like you guys are will appreciate the challenge. Yeah. We, we, and we, uh, we, I've we, been told by yeah. my marketing guy that I'll get in trouble if I lose. <laughs> so. Well, we play we we play our fair share of war games. I've mm -hmm. had a, I've had a chance to play this uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. Really liked it. Thought it was very very good. But uh, Kikerzord 
he needs, uh, when I say a refresher, yeah. that implies that he had it to he begin with. He had it to begin with. Yeah. Uh-huh. He doesn't have it he at all. Nothing. He's a blank slate. <laughs> but, knowing, but knowing him, especially considering a lot of the games that we play, uh, I think he's going to pick it up fast. Oh, yeah. But it's also possible that people on the stream aren't familiar with some Absolutely. of these symbols. Yeah, and right? so, um, of course, as we go through, I'm going to kind of, it's not going to be quite as tutorial as our last game. I would encourage yeah. people to go check out your channel and, and take a look at that. But I am going to kind of walk through like what we're doing in the round, how to play, <laughs> mostly for Kiko's benefit, yeah. because we don't want him to feel hurt <laughs> well, afterwards. No. Yeah, he's, he, not, he's, not he, has, he has a range of very cool characters. I'm a delicate flower. Yeah. And I need so uh, the other thing we wanted to do get. is I mentioned you can play this right out of the core set, and we played a game with the core set um, last mm-hmm. time that I was here. Exactly. We wanted to mix it up a little bit. Um, there's a whole lot of really cool characters in the line that have come out since the release of the game in November. True. Um, so we brought some brand new stuff that's never seen the table in Winter Soldier. So this is the first mm-hmm. time Winter Soldier will ever be played publicly. Well, he looks right. Um, and uh, so Winter Soldier, he's he's a really big uh, range character. So his goal is kind of to lock things down. He has a really long range gun, uh, range five. So he kind of gets in there, locks things down, and shoots shoots a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he shoots for ten inches effectively as the range five. We also brought Vision. Vision got spoiled on one of our um, Atomic Mass Games live transmission games. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just a powerhouse. He gets to change phases. I'll talk you through how that kind of works and what you want to think about with that. Um, but he hits like a tank. And it can be surprisingly defensive because of that phase shifting ability. Mm-hmm. And then we also brought our Wakandans, um, probably my favorite characters in the range so far, Black Panther, Okoye. Um, and then because Winter Soldier has this rule called Rogue Agent, um, Kiko gets to count as Wakanda affiliated. And so for those who might not be aware, in Marvel Crisis Protocol, you can build your team out of any characters you want. There's no limitations. So Red Skull can team up with Captain America. Because as we described... There's weird crossovers like that do exactly. happen, right? Yeah, and and the big thing for us is that not so much that you know Marvel Crisis Protocol is drawing inspiration from the comics, but it's giving you the ability to play out your own comic story on the table. Like, right. This is your own Marvel like sandbox, basically. So enjoy it the way you want. If you love Taskmaster and you love um, Spider Man, you know, let them play together, right? Right. I don't. We don't want to stop you from doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you do get certain soft benefits for having team affiliation. So, for example, you have four characters from Avengers. Um, you get the Avengers affiliation activated for your squad. That means that Captain America's leadership ability will be active, and you also get to play team tactic cards that are associated with the Avengers. Um, on Kiko's side, technically he has five characters, but only two of them are Wakanda affiliated. So mm-hmm. more than half of the characters in your squad have to be affiliated to a specific one to unlock it. Winter Soldier, because of his role in the comics as kind of being this rogue agent who just randomly shows up, he's bad, he's good, you never know, right? Yeah. Um, we gave him this special rule that basically says he counts for all affiliations when you're looking at, did I unlock the ability? There you can't go. play their cards, but it does allow you to unlock um, leaderships, like Black Panther's Wakanda leadership will now apply to his squad. Right. Um, and so it gives you that flexibility, and it's a kind of a cool nod to the fact that this character shows up, does his thing, and then just kind of disappears into the night. So we've set up our table. So yes. I'm going to kind of explain the scenario and what we're doing from a game perspective. Right. So the first players or the first side uh, to score 12 victor points will immediately win the game. Um, you can score points as the crisis teams by controlling these consoles, which means that during the course of play, you'll be able to move a character within range one of one of these fancy, dancy doomsday consoles, which look a lot like a smartphone. Cell phones? Yeah. <laughs> it, I'm not saying you're... How nefarious. How nefarious, right? <laughs> um, the contracts are killer on them. So if you move within Roll range... Rollover minutes. Exactly. There's no rollover on these. <laughs> um, if you move within range one of a console, you can spend one power to interact with it mm-hmm. from a character. This is not an action for their activation. So it's free as long as you have the power to spend. And you basically take control of it. So we'll mark control. You guys will get the, ca- the cool Captain America symbols. And I will get the evil Hydra symbol because I'm the bad guy today. Yeah. Agreed. Um, as long as that token shows your affiliation side on it. So if it's a Captain America symbol, you own it forever. Until, until you come Ultron with walks it. up and pushes the button. <laughs> right. Now, uh, you have nine characters and I have one. And these are my like evil cell phones. Yeah. So if I happen to have Ultron within range one of a cell phone, no matter how hard you push that button, it's not going to work. So I can kind of lock you out of at least having control of one if I stand mm-hmm. next to it the whole time. Right. But otherwise, uh, you can't do the same to me. If I walk up and push the button on my cell phone, I'm immediately going to take control of it. Um, so these are going to shift back and forth. And then at the end of the round, for each one we control, we'll score a victory point. So that's one way. Um, 
I talked about how you're trying to evacuate all the civilians. Right. So during the course of the game, you can interact with a piece of terrain. So you just have to be within range even of a the car? terrain. Even a car. Car, garbage truck. If we had street lights, but I forgot to bring them, yeah. you could find people in street lights. <laughs> very small people. Very small people. They're just very, very sneaky. There's high behind you know, if you They're panic. They're hiding. Right. If you panic and a street light's your only option, you might hide in a street light. <laughs> Um, so you can spend uh, power to interact with a train feature. You then search it. Uh, if you potentially find a civilian, you'll put it on your character card. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk more about that, how that happens when we get there. Right. And then your goal with that civilian is to get them to the home base point. So this is the center point here. We imagine that this is kind of a helicarrier, like yeah, or evacuation fast point, rope. fast rope, like pulls them up, elevator, whatever. Yeah. Um, so you can slam dunk your uh, civilian in there as another you interact. spin in the air exactly. and then Just right boom. in. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta have style when you're saving so civilians. Within yeah. one inch, within yep, within range one, and then you will evacuate the civilian and score one victory point. Now, if you happen to leave a civilian on the table, and there are ways that I can knock civilians out of your hands, um, or you might drop one when you get KO'd. <laughs> Ultron can walk up and, and usher, eat them. And, no, 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 no. He will eliminate the civilian by sending them upstate to New York, like we talked about. Okay. And they will go to a fancy farm where they can mm -hmm. run around and chase yeah. rabbits and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. He's well, just going to move them. He's going to move them. That's probably better than what we've exactly. done. It's probably way better. So that's what I'm saying. Slam dunk. I yeah. don't know. So just, <laughs> Maybe, woo! just just leave them there and I'll take care of it. Now, for every for every civilian that I interact with, VP. I score VP as well. Okay. So we're fighting over those VIPs. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two instant win conditions as well as the VPs. <laughs> um, mine is if I ever control all four Doomsday consoles, Everything goes goes terrible, and I destroy the city, and you lose. I heard yeah. that happen once. It did. It did happen once. We're not going to talk about that, though. You can bring that up. You can bring that up in shame. Um, yeah, Josh. When we first played it on our Atomic Mass live transmissions, no one had ever won that way throughout all of playtests because you really have to not be paying attention for that to happen before the game ends. Mm -hmm. And the lead developer, Will Pagani, and myself are playing against Josh, who's an awesome Ultron player. Yeah. Um, and. He totally got us with it. Like we just, we were so focused is, on we were going to win. Yeah, essentially oh, the people who wrote that rule. Exactly. Lost totally. By it, yeah, we lost by it hard. <laughs> is is lost he, by this hard. This is your petard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. is Josh still happy about it? Oh no. yeah, he doesn't let it, he doesn't let it go. I just he I brings just it up see him, all the time. It, it just, his head hits the pillow at night, <laughs> yeah. and I just see that smile. It's just it's the sweet. Dreamless sleep. It's really, right it's really difficult because the thing is, the, and the other thing that makes it really sting is that's the only time Josh ever won his Ultron. In awesome. all of the playtests, he, he set that up. He did. He set he did. that up. You, so, you, you didn't believe it. His one, his one. I knew he lulled us into this false sense mm -hmm. of security. So his one victory is also the most ignominious defeat of like my entire career. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so, so that. So, do we have an instant win condition? You do have an instant win condition. Yours is is a little more likely, uh, but it does require some concerted effort. If you can give Ultron five corrupted firmware tokens, so effectively when you guys take damage, you're gonna get dazed and then you're gonna flip to your injured side. And then if I do more damage, you might get knocked out and you're taken off the table. Yeah. You cannot knock out Ultron. The best that you can do is you can deal his amount of stamina and I will gain a firmware which token. Is eight. Which is eight, yep. So if you deal eight damage to me, I'll gain a corrupted firmware token and basically I will reset. Yeah. Um, the firmware tokens do have some effects that we'll talk about if you can stack them up. Uh, but once I hit five, if I get five corrupted firmware tokens, I kind of have to leave. Uh, my programming is all you, shot, and you I'm, your like, mom. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I hear mom, and I have to take my ball, and I have to go home. Yeah. And I'll be back later, but you guys are jerks. Right. So you can also kind of focus on trying to beat up Ultron if that's the way you want to go about it, or if you see an opening. Interesting. So, okay. So those are our victory conditions. Um, you guys will start the round with priority. So just to break down the round structure really quick in, mm -hmm. in Crisis Protocol, it's pretty simple. Uh, every round is composed of three phases. There's a power phase, and power is our big currency. So, um, like we talked about in the last stream, characters will gain and spend power to do things like big attacks, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. to use superpowers, to play team tactic cards. Every character during the power phase of a round gets one power token placed on them, yeah. unless they have a special rule that gives them more, but right. we don't have any of that. So, all of your characters can just take one power right now at the start of the power phase. So, Kiko, if you just want to grab each individual and put okay. one on each character. And then, Jerry, we have a bunch more tokens down here for us to share as well. I can't wait. So everyone will power up one. And we start this way. We start this we, way. We yeah. just, so, we, so this we is round one. like this. Yes, we, we, <laughs> we got to the table and now we're ready to go. Okay. So at the start of every round, you're always going to generate one power, typically. 
Um, and we generate, I mean, something that I thought was interesting when I played last time, and mm -hmm. you'll see this too, Keek, mm -hmm. is that when you're talking about your, a lot of their basic attacks, yes. they, those basic attacks are also power generators. Yep. Yeah, so the ways that you'll be able to generate power in the turn typically are through certain attacks. So mm -hmm. almost every character has an attack that generates power. Um, and then you also generate power when you take damage. So the more I beat you up, the stronger you're going to come back to mm -hmm. be able to deal with me later. Um, there are a couple other ways in the game, obviously, to generate power as well, but those are the two primary modes. So after the power phase is over, which we are complete with because we have no other special things to cover, That's right. we go to the activation phase. So in an ultimate encounter, uh, the crisis teams always have priority. So you guys okay. will always go first, mm -hmm. and I will always go after you. Okay. The one big change for those who know how a crisis protocol is played or have played it or watched the last stream, the only really big change in the ultimate encounter outside of how the teams are constructed and the fact that you two are on a team and I'm against it, yeah. is how the activation phase works out. So every time you guys take a turn, instead of activating one character, you'll get to activate three characters. Okay. And you can choose any three characters you want. Yeah, between the two of us. Between mm -hmm. the two of you, yep. And you're free to decide how that goes. Then it'll be my turn to activate Ultron. I'll get to activate him normally. And then we'll go back to you. You'll activate three more characters. It'll come back to me. And we do that three times. And okay. so at the end of my third turn with Ultron, the round will end. We'll go to the cleanup phase, we'll score our victory points, mm -hmm. and then we will advance to the next round. There's no round cap in this scenario, so this ultimate encounter does not have a round cap. It's only VPs or the instant win conditions. Right. Um, so, we'll go ahead and kick it off with you guys taking the first three activations of your turn. Okay. Um, so, to recap, your primary goals here, you're going to want to take control of consoles, mm -hmm. and you're going to want to search for civilians. Right. And we're basically, I mean, our, if we look at our line, Keek, Mm -hmm. It seems like we've got three quick searches. You do. Right from the jump, we can expend power mm -hmm. to do searches, mm -hmm. which would allow us to hopefully find some people. Find yeah. some people yeah. and then get out. Now, the one thing I'll tell you is that you have the cars right in front of you. So the mm -hmm. way that searching works, and this is something you'll want to consider, yeah. is that when you search, you spend a power. But searching isn't guaranteed. So mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to roll dice equal to the train piece's size. So oh. for example, for a car, you'd roll two dice. Yeah. You're looking for... Criticals, which are these little um, exclamation explosions. Yeah. Or you're looking for wilds, which are these little swoopies. Okay. So what um, are the chances on a dice? So each of those is one on an eight side. So you have two out of eight. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's, it's not great. It's not great. Of course, the way that you can maximize this is by searching bigger things. So mm -hmm. a garbage truck is more likely garbage to have trucks. more people in it. And so this is maybe a three. So this is a size three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the garbage trucks and the chemical trucks are size four. And right. then we can search them once per round. So, yes. Yeah, so the way that it works is that a character can only interact with something once. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say that Iron Man walks up to this garbage truck. He searches it and he doesn't find anything. Yeah. So he can't spend another power if he had it to search that same garbage truck. He could walk over to this car and search the car, but he can only interact with everything once. Now, that doesn't stop Spider-Man from going in and finding the people that Tony Stark missed. Mm -hmm. um, once you've successfully found somebody from a train feature, though, yeah. we take one of these tokens and it becomes evacuated. And so for the rest of the round, you can't search it anymore. We clear those at and the end those of all will these. Go, yep, at the end gotcha. of the round, we'll clear them all and you can find more people in those spots. I'm loving it. Okay. Well, yeah, I feel like right. a million bucks. I mean, obviously, the two these two dice searches don't seem amazing, but they're also like right there. They're, yeah, they're I have a right feeling there. that we're not going to be spending a lot of time in <laughs> these areas here, so it might be a good idea to just to just get out of the way, and then well, we can each send somebody up to grab the front row, mm -hmm. and then based on where Ultron goes, then we move around. Yeah, we should actually try to draw him over here oh. so we can get these trucks. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, right. I'll start out. Okay. Does that so, sound good? Yeah, it sounds great. So, Kigo, for a quick refresher, yep. <laughs> when a character activates, uh, it gets to perform two actions. Gotcha. The primary actions you're going to be performing are move mm -hmm. and then attacks. Okay. Um, certain superpowers, of which I don't think there are any on your side, mm -hmm. um, do require an action. It'll have the bold word action. Okay. So you may have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last super or the last action that you can do on a turn is you can shake special conditions. So if I can okay. make you bleed or something like that, you can get rid of that with an action. So would a search action? Um... So a search. So interacts are not actions. Gotcha. So okay. you can as but they do cost power. So <laughs> yeah, as right. long as you have a power to spend, you can mm -hmm. do it. Okay. That's the wildest thing about this. And I think it's probably like the most like empowering. Mm -hmm. If we're thinking about like 
these are super heroic characters. There's things that you can do in this game that in any other game would be a turn mm -hmm. or an action that just aren't. A lot of these powers and special abilities that we're purchasing with power, we do those in addition to our two actions. Yep. So it's actually, you can get a, you can wring a lot more out of a mm -hmm. turn from a superhero uh, than you can in a typical yeah. war game, at least yeah, from and that my was, perspective. That was really important, right? We mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that these characters were always in the action and not spending all of their, basically their attacks Going to looking the store. for people, right? Yeah. Um, so it was definitely very important. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So here, so why don't we start with Vision? I like it. So we have one thing that we actually have to do with Vision, which yeah. I should have brought up during the power phase. Yeah. So Vision, those who know the character, loved, yeah. he can phase. So he can basically affect his density. He can become super dense and really hard and strong, or he can almost go, he can basically go intangible like a ghost. So we represented this in Vision in that he has an innate superpower called phasing. Phasing, yeah, I see that. So you, there are two options for you. You can pick enhanced density, which says that when you take physical attacks, I'm you better against physical. Three additional dice, and you can't be pushed. So I can't move you around. Oh, because you're really just so heavy, yeah, exactly, I can't move you. Exactly. Um, the other option is that you can choose uh, intangible. Mist. Yes. yes, mist. Well, phase, Form of mist, yeah, right? Phase. And so I just like float through objects. Yes. And so with that one, you'll roll three additional attacks against energy attacks. Yeah. And you don't suffer collision damage. So if I throw something into you, like a car, um, you would take no damage from that because you're phased. That's wicked. But you have to pick that at the start of the turn. So well, do you want phase at, at this range? Yeah, phase, phase is, is the probably obvious the choice. right choice. Mm -hmm. At least so you're going to grab that token there, and yep. you'll see that one side is glowing and one side is translucent. That's right. So you want the you want that one for phased. Okay. So now we know you are phased. I am thoroughly phased. Now, do I do I at the beginning of this power phase like do I gain another power token? Nope. So we started the we token did you have okay. Sorry, is the one that That's we got. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Right. So I'm going to start out. It's not an action. Okay, so I'm going to start out by searching Search the red it, car. Yeah. So you get two dice. You found a person. Already. All right, so you now have a civilian token. Civilian tokens say that you can't move more than once per turn, mm -hmm. so you can only take one move action now. Okay, and Vision's move is the medium move. Yep. So when a character moves in Crisis Protocol, we have movement tools that you use. They're short, medium, and long. Well, just, and they are curved at the edge. Yep. So and you, you just place it against the base. You do, and then when when you move, you can actually place your character anywhere touching the template. Okay. So, for example, like Legion, like Star Wars Legion, uh, sort of. Legion is a little different because it requires you to be fully base with the end of it. At the end, yeah. Mm. And so, for example, you can actually go over here, or you can go here. Anywhere you have along a lot the line. Of, you have a lot of options as long as you're touching the template in some way. But if Vision goes right here, I'm not totally cool to this. Oh yeah, yep. Now, uh, you've already spent your power, though, to search the car. So mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to push the button here. Not yet. Unless you're smart. And you use another action that he has, oh, which is synthesis. Energy. Synthesis. Here. Mm -hmm. Is this the uh, synthesis? Oh, synthesis. Yep. So it requires no power to use. Yep. Action. This character gains two power. Mm -hmm. So, for example, because you're not going to be able to attack me, because your best attack is like range four. Exactly. Uh, you can use synthesis, which gain is two power. Which, which is which is an action, yep. unlike most of these. Correct. But it's an action because it's so rad. I know. <laughs> so it gives me two energy. Mm -hmm. but, but, search it, but activating this Doomsday yep. console... Would cost one. Yeah, it costs one, but mm -hmm. not an action. Correct. So here's my move. I used my action synthesis to get mm -hmm. my juice. Yep. And now I'm pushing this button. And then we just mark that we as We basically yours. won. So <laughs> you've, you've won the game. <laughs> it's uh, over. Sorry, Josh. Ghost, totally if you could clean this up. Is this car now empty? And that car is, yes, that okay. car has been found a person, so it is empty. So there you go. Kiko this is, is why it's a refresher here. Kiko so is the Kiko's king of the token, <laughs> for sure. He's got it. So Kiko, why don't you, why don't you grab an activation? Okay, so, uh, so then we're just going to take one of these checks. Search this car. And I'll remind us yeah. he's gone. Uh, how close do I need to be? So you to need it? to be within range one. Okay. So range one is the width of any movement tool. Okay. So, so you're, right. you're in there. You're definitely in there. So let's go ahead and do a search of this car. I'll spend my power token mm -hmm. to do that. And I you don't. You found nobody. Nothing. Or at least they're not coming out for okay. Black Widow. Yeah. Fair. It's like, eh, hard um, pass. Yeah. I'll come out for the weird robot. Since that didn't work, <laughs> I will go ahead and move and see uh, I'll to, go this, to, work. to this Oscorp truck. And so one of the things about moving mm -hmm. is that a character can freely advance over anything that is their size or smaller. Okay. So, for example, Black Widow size two, which means mm -hmm. she can easily cross over a car. She like Dukes of Hazard, straight, straight over the, the car. straight over the hood. For the kiosks or the trucks, which are size three and four, which are bigger mm -hmm. than her, 
in order for her to be able to advance in a way that either cross them or go on top of them, she'd have to do a special move, which is called a climb. Gotcha. When you climb, you use the short movement tool regardless of your distance. Okay. So I will move her. Is that a check? No. Thank God ready. for you for no next check. turn. Yeah. You just do it. If we had a size five, like three story building, she could just hurdle up it. She's got a grappling hook or something, right? They're superheroes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never read four panels of a comic where they've been like climbing stairs, <laughs> unless it was done for comedic <laughs> effect, right? Yeah. All right. So you so you did a search, expanded your power. There. Yes. Moved up there. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's so, one action. So you've yeah one mm-hmm. action. You have one left. You could climb on top of the truck if you wanted to. Um, you could move again if you wanted to get closer to something, or True. you could simply just stay where you are. What do I want to do here? Well, I mean, right now, you're in a pretty good position with this truck. Yes. But I think occluding yourself as much as possible from Ultron is probably okay. good. What is Ultron's move? So Ultron moves medium. Okay. He also has a, uh, a superpower, um, which is matter transference, which basically is a teleport. Gotcha. So I can place within range two. Mm-hmm. Um, of my current position as well, if I have the power to spend mm-hmm. for it. So, so I, I wonder, yeah, I, I wonder if we just get kind of back over in the corner, because right next turn you're still going to want to, yeah. Because if you can grab somebody, we're looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. All right, so Black Widow is complete. Yes. Cool. All right, one All more. Right. One more. So let's do From anybody you'd like to choose. Yeah, let's let's go with. Should we yeah. get a little exciting? Yeah, and of course. Move, search a dump truck, and then next turn we can dunk deposit. Deposit. Yes. You <laughs> deposit can make a person deposit. Civilian. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see you move out the shield bank with yeah. the uh, with uh, Spidey goes out here. Mm-hmm. Maybe gets maybe right here so that Ultron doesn't whack him with a beam. Yeah. But if he was able to get, he's gonna be rolling three dice to search the truck. Mm-hmm. It'll be four for the truck. The truck four for the size, size four. four. So that's we get there. we get yeah. a person, and then that's a free. VP, mm-hmm. I think, from there to there, yeah. Spidey does that easy. All right. So All right. he's got an L, which yep. is, and he know, has wall crawler. Wall so crawl, one of the things so. with wall crawler uh-huh. or flight is that they allow you to basically count as size five gotcha. for climbing purposes. Okay. So Spidey uh, can basically hop up anything he wants. So we're searching the truck. I get four dice. You yeah. do. Okay. If I get multiple successes, you still only find one okay. person. You find <laughs> ten people. <laughs> you find ten people, but you can only carry one. So you got, got it. You Two got successes, it. so I'll. So get you can one. grab a person from our mm-hmm. person stack. Spider-Man will have spent his power, but yes. we'll have a person on him. So he can't move again. Correct. Um, if he had power to do some of his superpowers, though, he could do those. But he mm-hmm. doesn't have any power. I think he's so set. He's pretty much there. Mm-hmm. All right. So that was your third one. So right. we'll place a third activation token. Right. And Spider-Man. now we're going to see... And now it is Ultron. That's the age of Ultron. Now it is the age of Ultron. Well, I'm getting there. I'm it working was. towards the age. There's some foundational it's, it's work I have to lay first. Exactly. Okay, so the first thing that happens, is I mentioned that Ultron has constructed a doomsday device. It would, it would be rather anticlimactic of us, as game developers and designers, to not have that doomsday device actively messing with you the whole game. Right. So, at the start of uh, each of my turns as Ultron, I get to roll a certain number of dice. This dice, this number is equal to the difficulty level of the encounter. So we're playing on hard mode. Yeah. So I will get to roll four dice, base. Base? Base, I get four dice. And then for every console I control, I get to add an extra dice to it. I control no consoles currently. Agreed. That's add for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to roll four dice. And I'm going to look at my I see result. a lot of skulls. So I got two skulls, mm-hmm. a wild, and a crit. <laughs> so I have this I have this fancy chart here. It's already the age of old I know. I have this fancy <laughs> chart here. Shit. Um, going from bottom to from from top to bottom, I'm going to do each of those things in order. Great. Um, if I roll multiple results, so the two skulls are actually good for you oh, because okay. the more duplicates I get, I can't replicate abilities. Oh, you can't do them again and again. So if I rolled four skulls, I would only get one thing on my chart. Oh, okay. thankfully I rolled two skulls and I have two different examples. So mm-hmm. for a blank or a fail, which is the skull, mm-hmm. I get secondary power reserves. Ultron, Master of Metal, gains three power. So I will just gain three power. That seems, good. That seems good. That's you said. That's the good outcome for us. Is that <laughs> well? So like, I don't so get to gain do, six power. So if you <laughs> if you fail a roll, you get three power. I get three power. Okay. Additionally, cool. fun. It, additionally, if the cosmic threat player is not controlling any doomsday consoles, choose a doomsday console. The cosmic threat player is now controlling that doomsday console, which means I can also flip ones that you flipped over. Right. Okay. I'm not going to do that though. I believe that I'm going to flip this one to my control. Okay. Whoop. All right, so that's that's secondary power reserves. Feels great. We're done with these. I'm going to go to uh, a wild, which is a better age, which oh. is what I'm trying to give you, but you keep struggling against yeah. it. It's optimistic. 
The cosmic threat player chooses a train feature with an evacuated token on it. If there are no evacuated tokens on the train features, they may choose any train feature. The crisis team places a terrified citizen token within range one of the chosen train feature. Then the train feature is destroyed and removed from the battlefield. Holy shit! Ultron, <laughs> master of metal, gains power equal to the size of the train feature. Ah, cool. <laughs> I'm going to choose this. I'm just, maybe this one it's, over here. It's going to be destroyed. Oh my God, so you get so four power. I'm going to gain four power. You do get to place a citizen out, so you'll probably want to place it within range one, like over here. Okay, yeah. So you can go pick up that poor person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to gain four power from destroying that truck. So I went from one power to... Seven eight. power. So now having eight power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we're not done. That was that result. So that was a better age. So my last result on the chart is Devastating Barrage. The Cosmic, th the cosmic Threat player chooses three Crisis Team characters within range three of the home base token. The chosen characters suffer one damage and gain one power. But too far away. So I see Josh out there. Let's get him. Yeah, let's, let's swap. I've got I've got Spider Man. Oh, from the center. This is yep. the yep from the home base token. Okay. So my devastating barrage is going to come down. My drones are going to shoot Spider Man. So cool. Spider Man will take one damage and gain one power. And unfortunately, he's the only one I can target with this. So, but once you start, you know, trying to evacuate civilians, there's going to be a lot more people in the center and. Things might start going my way back. I will assume that this is a damage token. That is a damage. Okay, yep. great. So the slashes are damage, <laughs> and then you got your powers yep, as well. Power. Perfect. All right, so that is my doomsday device for this round. So I'm done with that. Great device. Now I'm going to take my turn. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to chortle like that. <laughs> not required. It's not. It's not required. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two power and I'm going to matter transfer. He's the game designer. It might be required. Dude, it's it so might be required. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, but the boss feeling is pretty intense. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, matter transfer says I get to place Ultron With, within range within, two. Sh within two, okay. Yep, so I think we're going to just place... You know what? I don't like Spider-Man, so we're just going to go here. We're just going to go up to there. You can only use that, that, that power once per turn? Uh, I can only use that power once per turn. That is okay. correct. That's great news. So next, I'm going to go ahead and I'd shoot Vision, but he's phased, so it doesn't really net me much. This is why I did it. I know, I know. All right, so I have I have this little thing called Energy Blast, but it's only range four. Little thing? It's a little thing. It's just a little thing. Um, so I'm gonna have to move up. So I think Ultron's just gonna, you know, he's gonna do what all classic villains do, and he's just gonna beckon you forward. Okay, so he's I'm basically not a, I'm not afraid of you. So he's basically like guarding the goal. Yeah, he's he's there. You know, he's. He's doing his he's doing his monologuing right mm -hmm. now. He's he's talking about the folly of man, uh, and I'm going to use my energy blast attack, uh, which is range four. Mm -hmm. It is an energy attack. So Kiko, one of the things about attacks and okay. crisis protocols, mm -hmm. they're broken into three different types. There's physical attacks, which are the fists. Uh -huh. They're red. Mm -hmm. There's energy attacks, which are the yellow icon. Gotcha. And then there are mystic attacks, which are the eyeball, gotcha. and they're like the purple blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, on our character sheets, those are our defenses yep. that are uh -huh. listed at the top. So the three numbers at the top of your character sheets mm -hmm. are your defenses against those. That's how many dice you get to roll. Uh, attacks and defenses are um, opposed dice rolls. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the strength of my attack against mm -hmm. your Spider-Man. The strength of energy blast is seven. My defense is three. Okay. Um, this does cost me two power to use, though. Okay. So I'm going to spend two power to use it. Okay, so I'm going to roll seven dice, and you're going to roll three dice. There is psionic, a Cadmus, the, the third, the eye yes. symbol. It's, it's sort of like the psychic. Mm -hmm. Psychic all, or like magic, all that All kind the of psychic like magic, stuff. your Doctor Strange, all, all right. that type of stuff. So we'll talk real quick, we'll just give you a refresher on what each of the symbols mean. Okay. So a crit is a success for either attacking or defending. Okay. Really cool thing about crits is if they're in your initial roll. So the mm -hmm. first time you roll, uh -huh. every crit that you've rolled, mm -hmm. you get to add an extra die to your roll. Perfect. They explode. If mm -hmm. you roll more crits after that initial roll, though, then you don't get any more dice. Gotcha. Okay. Wilds are always successes for attacking and defense. Okay. And typically, um, they will trigger special abilities. Gotcha. Normally on attacks. Um, however, like Captain Marvel has a special defensive ability that triggers off of wilds as well. Mm -hmm. There are then hits. There are two of these hit icons on the die. Gotcha. They're just a little explosion. They're mm -hmm. always successes for attacks, gotcha. not defense. Mm -hmm. Then there's one shield icon. This is a success for defense. Uh -huh. There are two blanks, which are nothings. Mm -hmm. And then there are these little skulls. So mm -hmm. skulls are critical fails. Gotcha. There's a lot of re-rolling and modifying of dice in mm -hmm. Crisis Protocol. If you roll a skull, you can't change that dice at all. Gotcha. It's locked in. So okay, so dice... spider sense would not allow me to, to change a skull. You could not re-roll skulls, gotcha. no. All right, so I'm going to roll my seven dice. Okay. Yeah. So I did real well. 
Like that's that's pretty good. I'd call this a pretty good roll. So even if I succeed on all so, of these dice, I'm gonna roll three I'm extra dice because I have three crits. Great. Ah. Uh, all right. So that's you know it it got slightly better. So currently we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm like three crits base defense dice. So got you, got, crit, you got a crit and a defense. That's pretty good. So you get to uh, roll one extra die. Okay. And okay, so that okay. is not a success. Does but Spidey Sense kick in? Spidey Sense. Okay. So the way it works is you do your initial roll. Uh huh. You roll for crits. Gotcha. Then I modify mm -hmm. my attack dice. Then you modify. Okay. And we just kind of move through the cycle. So right. you will get to modify now. No. You got another fail. So you have two. Okay. So we compare totals. And then we subtract yours from mine. So I'll take five. So you'll take five, which you only had four left, so you'll take four. Okay. You will gain one power for each um, damage you took from an enemy effect, so you're okay. going to gain four power on Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. However, unfortunately, Spider-Man has taken his five, mm -hmm. so he will be dazed. All right. Um, he's not out of the fight, because right. each character has a healthy and an injured side. So Spider-Man's going to gain a dazed token, mm -hmm. which are right here. Yep. Oh, this is wild, mm -hmm. Kiko. So he's dazed. Mm -hmm. He can't be hit anymore. Correct. He is. He's safe okay. until he stands up again. Do I drop my? You will stone? drop your civilian token now. Normally, in a game of Crisis Protocol, mm -hmm. the opposing player gets to place the person. Okay. Or the objective token mm -hmm. that's dropped. However, in this, because they're not going to go close to Ultron, you guys actually get to place the person. Okay, and this is range one? So range two, actually. Range two? So like you could drop him right in front of Iron Man, you can put him wherever you, you want see him, range Like Spider-Man knows he's what's like, coming, he sees yeah. the blast, and he just <laughs> turns takes them. it, and, yeah. and yeah, he just takes tosses it. the civilian back at Iron All Man. Alright, so we just place anywhere within there, perfect. Okay, so Spider-Man is dazed. Um, after this attack is resolved, so Energy mm -hmm. Blast has a couple of special rules. After yeah. this attack is resolved, I gain one power. Um, and then this attack rolls one less die for each corrupted firmware token I have. So the more you damage me, the less effective my Energy Blast is okay. going to be. Okay, so uh, there's, it's, it's, for us, we have to figure out how hard we want to go on Ultron. Because we, we can grab a few points mm -hmm. here and there. I mean, we can spread our people out and then just try to get those points as they come in. Or you can just try to go ham and knock him out. <sighs> but right. has, yeah, you got it. Go so, that was my second action. It's because I moved and I attacked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else that I want to do, um, so my turn will be over. And we'll go back relief. to you guys. <laughs> and you will get to activate three more characters. Okay. With poor Spider-Man being dazed. Now, so we can move twice. You can move, yep, you can move twice, you can attack twice. The only limitation on movement is if you have a civilian token, you can only move once. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. God, that's a really gruesome limitation. And I will warn you yeah. that I have on my Doomsday console, because I'm, nice, I'm a nice villain. The civilian eater. I, I and have, it costs two power. <laughs> I, have, I have a result. If I roll a block, I activate one path to peace. One path to peace says, remove all terrified civilian tokens from the battlefield. The Cosmic Threat player scores 1 VP for each civilian removed in this way. So you don't really want to leave people oh, just no, they milling be. about. Yeah, they can't be. So both of these have to get scooped up. So if you activate Yesterday. Iron Man currently, yeah. you immediately pick a scoop up this mm -hmm. gentleman. Yep, you could spend one and immediately pick him up. Yeah, that's the interaction, right? Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, and then I could move forward mm -hmm. one medium, but then I wouldn't be able to move mm -hmm. anymore. Correct. Not unless you use something like, say, Avengers Assemble, which oh, <coughs> Avengers to... Assemble would be an, uh, and this is one use for the whole game, right? Yep. Yep. So Avengers Assemble basically says any number of allied Avengers characters may spend uh, one power to play this card. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then they but they only advance short. They would advance short, which if Iron Man had enough power and you really felt the need to do it, would be enough to get you within range one of this based on where you are. But it's probably not worth it quite yet. Not yet. So, but I don't, I don't think so. That does allow you to break that can only move once rule. Exactly. Kiko also has a card called Tactical Analysis that mm -hmm. he can play on an allied character, which allows them to immediately advance short as well. Ooh. So you guys do have some flexibility in terms of like mm -hmm. moving forward a little bit quicker. Okay, so do, so I think that Iron Man should grab here. Okay, so he would spend a power to interact with the civilian and pick mm -hmm. him up. Right. And then the token would go on Iron Man's card. See so now... Exactly otherwise. right. Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man, yep. There you go. And so... Uh, then we could I could move up or get closer. Yep. And then probably you could definitely attack me. If deliver you some beams mm -hmm. to the boss. You could repulsor blast me. <clears throat> and then <throat> and then maybe um, Okoye or uh, Black Panther grab the other one 
and try to build a turn here, or, or do we? Have to, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Let's see how this goes. Yeah, first. I'm pretty, it's pretty intimidating so far. Um, There's a pretty solid de defense at this hoop. Is my <laughs> he's, my current. He's just there. He can't stop you. He can't stop. <laughs> like there's no knocking civilians out of the out of the hoop. You just have to come to him. Okay. That's well, all. That's all. It's I, look, we're not we're not mean people. I don't want to be a dork. <laughs> but <laughs> so he gets knocked down, and then Iron Man come like I don't want to be a dork, but <laughs> but that works. All right. Uh, so now let's talk. Let's talk about some attacks. Okay. <clears throat> um, because I had to use my juice. Yeah. Um, to interact mm -hmm. with the civilian. Yep. Uh, in terms of abilities. Uh, the homing rockets are more expensive, correct? But I don't have any juice. Well, you don't have so I need to use repulsor blast. So repulsor blast is your best option if you want to try to deal some damage and gain some power. Exactly, the and other, so and I, I generate power based on the number of points of damage yep, that go through. Yep. The other really cool thing about repulsor <clears throat> blast is a lot of the attacks, and and this goes for a lot of the attacks in Crisis mm -hmm. Protocol. A lot of the attacks special abilities don't trigger off of damage. So, for example, if you repulsor blast Ultron and I just completely ignore it, yeah. But you roll the wild, you still get a push. I still get to push you, which is really phenomenal. A game that's like because we wanted combat to be really important. It's kinetic and right? central. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the objectives are what matter. So it's not just a scrum in the middle. It's not about always beating up the other player. It's about you know leveraging your abilities and your attacks. Yeah. And so board control and movement is huge. So I'm going to roll four dice for repulsor blast. Yep. But and then my hope is range. my hope is that I can get a wild. Which will activate push, and if I do that, I can throw you into that car. Yep. Well, you can't throw you pushes are different than throws. Yeah. So if you push me into the car, I just kind of like bounce into it and I stop. Oh, really? A throw is, is what it, will actually cause damage. That's the that's, that's the violent one. That's the aggression. Yes. Okay. Well, right. let's see what I can get here. So this is energy. I only have four defense against energy, so, so I'm is, we're basically dice. So equal we're dice. Even. We're even. That's not that's not terrible. You got Seven one half. crit and one hit. So, so you get to add a die. Yep. Roll that one. Oh, not re-roll, just add. Yeah. But oh, just yeah, add. Yeah, that's fine. Because mm -hmm. normally if you had a way to re-roll, you'd want to keep those dice in there because yeah. you could oh, potentially re-roll Oh, I see. So just roll an extra die in there. I like that a lot. <laughs> no. no. All right, so here I go with mine. Let's we'll see Shoot. what happens. I got one, and I have no way to re-roll. So I will take one damage. See that you do. And I will gain one power because I got mm -hmm. damaged. And you... And I gain that power because... will gain one power, yep. Yep. Now you did not roll a wild, so you won't get the push. True. But that's okay, because you did one damage. You've started. You've started the long road towards making me really angry. That's right. And so I'll put this token right here Perfect. to indicate that I've gone. You have gone. So now you guys have two left. <clears throat> so what do you think, Keek? It seems like you're in the best position to snatch up this so we don't get taken to the bone zone. Let's see. Who is the best person to do that? Uh, Black Panther has a move of long. Uh, let's see... Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll swoop him up. Now, um, is this something that uh, can I pick up a, civ uh, a civilian as I on the walk wing. past? Nope, him? you have to end. Okay. So you can't do it in the middle of your action. Okay. Oh god, wasting a long movement for that now, feels bad, up, doesn't yeah. it? I will say that Winter Soldier has range five, so he could yeah. easily make it over there and mm -hmm. still like you know. I think I want to do that because uh, do some shooting. Uh, the Winter Soldier's assault rifle generates power tokens. Yep. Perfect. And also applies a bleed. This is what we want. Yes. I will warn you, I'm a robot. I so have no blood. Bleed. Okay. I'm well, immune to bleed, but but still, it can it can hit me if from I there. I can generate and generate some power, power tokens. I can revive Spider-Man. Oh, kick ass. At some point, um, <clears throat> according to his uh, "Got Your Back" ability, I wouldn't be able to do it in the same turn because it's expensive. But dope. So, it's, so yeah, it's an got, option. "Got Your Back" is um, if Winter Soldier is within a certain range of an allied character mm -hmm. when they get knocked down. He can spend two power, and then he basically makes an attack against the guy who knocked down his friend. Mm -hmm. That's a kick ass. So let's do that. I will move uh, Winter Soldier, which has a medium mm -hmm. movement, to make sure that I am within one. Yep. I will Looks spend great. a power token to pick him up. Yep. Uh, and then for my other action, I will attack at range five bat, Ultron bat. with the assault rifle. How many right. dice? Um, it is. Uh, power four, I would assume. Yep. So that's four yep. dice. Yep. So my physical defense is five. Okay. So I've got one, one and a crit. Two. I got two. I have three successes Woo! and one crit. I'm okay. gonna keep this here because so. I'm a good boy. Yep. I'm gonna re-roll another die. 
Uh, oh! And then, All right, so, so you don't get an extra no die crit, for that crit. But I got four successes. You got four to my two, so ah. I'm going to take two. Okay. Oh! Is there like any wild this. effect? Uh, the he, wild effects oh, is, is bleed. Which he would normally make of, me yeah. bleed. So after this attacker is resolved, the, ch the character gains uh, power equal to the amount of damage de yep. dealt. So, so you would gain two. Two. Mm -hmm. And now your turn is not over, even mm -hmm. though you've used your two actions. So for okay. example, if you wanted to, you mm -hmm. could potentially trigger Hydra Tactics. Okay. Because I believe that costs two. Uh, so, or I can immediately... Can I got your back? Nope, because the trigger for... So uh, got your back is a reactive, and it says when. Oh, yeah. when. Yep, gotcha, when. it's not, so, not the current So it's state. not the current Okay, state. so choose another allied character within range two of this character. Place this character so within So you're probably not going to want to do it because you can't target yeah. a dazed character, uh -huh. but you could like bounce behind Black Panther and just be like, save me. <laughs> Um, if Iron Man was a little closer, you could potentially bounce yeah. to Iron Man and maybe even like drop I off a I think I'll probably so. just sit on the two power. Yep. And then the other thing to remember is uh -huh. that um, we talked about leaderships a little bit. Yeah. So Jerry's leadership is a day unlike any other. Mm -hmm. Every time, on each turn, whenever he uses his first superpower, it costs him one less power. Okay. The Wakanda one, which is King of Wakanda from Black Panther, mm -hmm. is that whenever you're making, whenever attacking or defending, you can spend one power after rolling your initial roll to be able to re-roll one die in that roll. Ooh. Okay. So, so having power in your there. characters will allow mm -hmm. you to potentially benefit from rerolls and stuff as well. And so Iron Man... And that applies to everyone yeah. regardless of whether or not they're a Wakandan affiliated. Okay. Because the squad is all allies. It's mm -hmm. three-fifths mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Wakanda. Yeah. So, and so basically, because I'm built the way I am, every ability that I use is cheaper. Every superpower, the first one you use in a turn. Yeah. Yeah. So like, for example, rapid phase on vision, allows him to use it the first time for one less cost. I, yeah. uh, Captain American Bodyguard for one less. Iron Man can use Friday for one less. Yeah. But if you do it again in a turn, you'll pay the full cost. Gotcha. So we have one more activation. We have, we have one, one more, more activation. activation. So we've picked up all the people. Mm -hmm. Do we want, uh, maybe Okoye can grab the... We can have... Uh... Well, she's activated, so she can't oh, go again right. this round. Uh, Okoye has a uh, medium movement. Uh, pretty... I mean, she can get to this car and search if we want. Um, you know, we can. She can grab that. Well, you want? Is that what we want to do? I think it's worth having those. Okay. The so, consoles. They will yeah. score you a point at the end of the round. All right. Then let's do that. I will spend my power token okay. to claim so that console. Take another console. And anything special? Uh, I think. I think she's good. Cool. All right. So that was number three. So now it is my turn. Yes. Let's activate this doomsday, doomsday machine. How about we don't? How about we do? All right, so I'm going to get four dice base. Okay. And then I get one because I have one console. Exactly. So five so total. Five dice. Let's see what happens here. All right, so we got a blank. Like those doubles. I uh, got a double and we have a wild. All right, that's okay. So a uh, blank, secondary power reserves. I will gain three power. That's right. Now, even though I'm a super bad Ultron, I still cap out like all the other characters at 10 power. Okay. okay. What a relief. So I have <laughs> I have eight currently, so I can only gain two more. Uh, I do control a console, so I can't flip a console. So secondary power reserve has been activated and I am done. With that one. Uh, the block. One path to peace, but unfortunately you picked up all the people. So I guess I won't be one pathing to peace just yet. I'm trying to give you peace and you won't accept my peace. <laughs> uh, we go next is the hit icon. So this is a horrifying scraping sound. Which, is, it, is that what it says? It, it does. It is a horrifying <laughs> scraping sound. I will tell you a fun story about horrifying scraping sound is that when we were going through playtests, the abilities kind of shifted in where they were on the chart to make the play yeah. experience smooth and fun and fair. Horrifying scraping sound, when it got moved originally, was in the two position. Yeah. So one path, the piece used to be called a horrifying scraping sound, when we removed all of the... T <laughs> it was, it yeah. <laughs> all the civilians go away, we're like, probably, no. no. Let's, switch, let's, let's swap uh, that one. Let's yeah. swap this one. So... <laughs> What does a horrifying scraping sound do, you might ask? Uh, crisis team characters drop all objective tokens they are holding. If no crisis team characters are holding objective tokens, treat this result as a devastating barrage. However, you are holding <laughs> objective tokens, yeah. so you will be dropping your civilians. Uh, so all your characters will drop, and it's within range two, so you can place them anywhere within range two of each character. Okay. So we'll do that, and then... So you might not want to do that, because Ultron's real close to that civilian. <laughs> Just as a thought. But remember, range two, I mean, it can be yeah. as far away as you want. Or you can just kind of like puppy <coughs> Oh, because oh, he, he can still act. I can, so I can still you get attack these as normal? Oh, absolutely. No, I can still God. interact with them. I interact with them, sir. I don't attack them. 
I am a machine of peace. <laughs> Here you go. If you want to see the maximum. Now, of course, the other trade-off is, is that if you're not within range one, when you activate, you're not going to be able to pick oh, them I'm, up. Oh, I know this perfectly well. <laughs> you beast man. Um, robot man, sir. Robot man. That's got to be it. All right, that's where we're going. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and then vision this has one gets to place. All right. So that's all right. So we're done with a horrifying scraping sound. <laughs> all of your people have run away. <laughs> uh, and then I have a wild, and so my wild is a better age. Uh, the cosmic threat player chooses a train feature with an evacuated token on it. We only have one, so I will destroy this car. You will get to place a terrified civilian token within range one of it. So probably right next to Marvel, I would assume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I will gain two power, but I can't gain any more power because I'm tapped out. So I've really got to do some work here. That's okay. I think we can do that. So my Doomsday Machine is complete. What a great machine. Wow. It's it's a pretty solid machine. I also bought the extended warranty on it. <laughs> oh, you get cheese, huh? Yeah, nice. exactly. I got the undercoating. I know. <sighs> okay, so we're going to start off and we're going to matter transfer. So I'm going to spend two and quick, I'm going to place warp. Ultron within range two. This current position, which... What a great location. You know what? Do I want to go after Iron Man? I feel like I have to go after Iron Man. Well, it's a pretty classic... I feel like I don't have a choice here. <laughs> There's no Hank Pym, so we're going to go after the next... <laughs> the next best choice, which is Iron Man. Um, I am then going to... I think we're going to get on the board. I think we're going to score here. So, I'm going to... I move within one. Yeah, we can do this. Mm. Nope. We'll leave the we'll leave the civilians. We'll let you guys pick up the civilians. I like this. I am going to uh, energy blast you, so I'm going to spend two, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to spend two more power for a superpower called the Folly of Man. <laughs> okay. Tony Stark. Tell me more. Let me explain to you what the Folly <laughs> yeah. of Man is. Uh, so before rolling attack dice, I may use this superpower. Yeah. During this attack, this character adds blanks in its attack rolls to its total successes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So That's I'm going to get seven dice, and yeah. it's an energy attack. Yep. And my energy defense is three, so this is wee-wee. All right. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so good thing I have the folly of man here. So two blanks. I did not roll any crits. So currently... Sweet Jesus. I'm sitting on six. Well, that's plenty. That's a lot already. You're, right. you're the invincible Iron Man. You might and be okay. This is hard mode, okay. correct? This yeah. is hard okay, mode. Okay. <laughs> so I'm looking for shields. Yep, you're looking for uh, crits, shields. wilds, and mm -hmm. blocks, wild which are the shields. So you have a wild. So you got one. You got one. You have no way to reroll. <clears throat> you're However, right. you do have invincible Iron Man. Exactly, which shaves one damage off the total. Okay, so normally I would do five damage to you, which would be enough. Yes. However, mm -hmm. You, you are yeah, exactly. the Invincible Iron Man, so you will drop one more. You will only take four damage from me. You will gain four power, though. That's right. So I gain four power off that, which is great news. It, it, is, it is true value. Uh, I will gain one power from using Energy Blast, because it says after this attack is resolved, this character gains one power. Um, and I'm still not very satisfied with the way this turned out, so I believe that I will use my second action... To wipe him out? Oh no, I moved, didn't I? You did. I teleported and then I had to move. Did I move? No, I just teleported. Ah! Well, because I matter transferred, right? So matter transfer to there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I still have one action left. Beautiful. This is why teleportation is the best. Yeah, it's the wave of the future. <laughs> <sighs> do I want to take out Iron Man or do I just want to leave him alone? Let him folly. Well, he only has one. All you have to do is deal two, right? I've learned from past mistakes that oh, leaning the into symbols. the bloodthirst. <laughs> Can, can sometimes be too much. So Ultron is going to leave... Spread it around. He's yeah. going to leave Iron Man to ponder his folly yeah. that he's learned. I'm going to move over here, I'm going to spend one, and I'm going to flip this to me. So this is now mine. Okay. Because as we discussed, um, you cannot flip a console that I'm within range one of Correct. to exactly. your side. So that's I locked. can do whatever I want. So you currently have six dice on your Doomsday Machine. I do have six mm -hmm. dice on my Doomsday Machine. Uh, that will be it for me. I will be done. So I will add this activated token here. Okay. And now you guys will get to activate your last three characters, which will be Black Panther, Captain America, and Captain Marvel. Okay. So how do we maximize the points here? This is a point, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's yep. a point for you. Mm -hmm. I will get two. So right now, if nothing changed, I will score two, and you would score one. Right. And 
my maximum movement on any of these is going to be two mediums. Yep. So none of these are going to be enough to get me to here mm -mm. to get that point. We can't get that one back. I do have this person, which I can pick up with one energy mm -hmm. and then move medium. Yep. And then just think about my life choices. I, I mean, guess. you could probably move in such a way that you could range four blast Ultron well, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Every, everybody else has to get down. Yep. Bzzz. So characters do not block line of sight in the game. Oh, Kiko. Perfect. Okay. Uh, they also don't block movement, so you can freely move through gotcha. somebody else. You can't land on top of them, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to move through them. Um, for line of sight, we tried to keep it really straightforward and quick and intuitive. So we gotcha. talked about sizes before. Uh -huh. If a character, if you can't draw a line through a piece of terrain that is a larger size than right. the character you're attacking, mm -hmm. you can't see them. And these are size. These are size four. Gotcha. Yep. Well, this is okay because she Carol flies. Yep. So. She can just go directly over here. She just hop over. Within four inches and we're good. Yep. So within range four, pick mm -hmm. up a dude. So we're going to pick up that one. Dude picked up. So we're going to spend one. And then you're going to use energy blast for your second action. Yeah, exactly. All right. So that is an energy attack, strength four. Yep. And you have four defense dice on that? And I get four defense dice on that. Do you have any defenses of three? No. Okay. I have a five, a four, and a five. Smooth. You have five even against the mental. Nice. Yeah. Right. Well, it's a robot. How yeah, are you going to mind true. control a robot? Exactly. It's very yeah. difficult. Well put. Well put. Oh, that's pretty good. That's so you get one do, extra. Do you see why I grab an extra dice? No, you should. I don't <laughs> it's it's that gonna be dice. really important because of Carol's rule. If you yeah. read read a rule. Oh, we're off to a good right. start. Man, All right. Did this turn out okay? Oh, I got one. Did not turn out okay on that. Did not one. turn out great. Now, if you read Energy Blast special. I rule, can re-roll any number of attack any dice. Any number of attack dice. This is why, as a friend to you, <laughs> I told you not. To pick up this dice and roll exactly. it. As long as they're not skulls. As long as they're not skulls, correct. So this is my free re-roll. So you get to re-roll any number of dice. You only rolled one that was Leaving those alone. Correct. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Carol came to play. Dude, she actually she came, came to play. She came to put it down. Uh, all right, so I blocked one. I'm going to take four. I have one left before I take Corrupted Firmware. One left. Thanks, Carol. God. I do gain four power. Uh, and do I do I generate power? So you generate, uh, what is your special rules? I, get, I generate one energy. So yep, after this attack is resolved, you generate one energy. Um, okay, so... So it doesn't generate as much energy because it's so rad, I'm, I think. <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm kind of unhappy with this. Oh, no. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use enough. <laughs> enough! <laughs> this is a reactive superpower. It costs two. Um, okay. After an attack that damages this character is resolved, I may, keep, I may use this superpower, throw the attacking character short. Oh, really? So I'm going to... Throw? So you're going to throw me right into the car? No, I'm going to throw you into Iron Man, sir. <laughs> oh, no! So I'm going to throw you right into Iron Man. He said enough. True. Enough! So, when a character collides with another character... Yeah, same size. Or with terrain. Right. Uh, same size or anything like that, when it collides, the character that collides with the thing, so the thing that was thrown, yeah. in this case Carol, takes one damage. You can't do anything about it. She just takes a damage. Yep. It was caused by an enemy effect, so she still gets her power from uh -huh. it. Now, if somebody has something thrown into it, this is where size comes back into play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to take damage equal to the size plus one of the thing that ran into you. Oh, okay. So Carol is size two. Yep. Plus one is three, so Iron Man's going to take three damage. Now Iron Man's not just going to stand there and like knock it out of the way potentially. So he rolls mm -hmm. a defense. So you're going to make a dodge roll. And the way you make a dodge roll is you roll your physical, physical defense. Physical defense. Now the important difference is that there are things that will allow you to re-roll dodge rolls like spider sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are other things that will only allow you to re-roll defense. So for example, King of Wakanda can't help you when you're dodging. Right. It only helps you when you attack. Okay, so, so Iron you're Man take has, three got damage. has four dice with which I can try to Correct. defend against this. And I you're looking wilds for and crits, wilds, and blocks. Okay. And if you're rolling crits, you get to add additional dice to your roll. So it still works on the back end of that. Yep. And then, will Invincible Iron Man still... Well, I only have one more hit point, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. We, we, we don't need to worry ourselves we worry with about that. that. But it would. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. So you have two so far with a crit, so you can add an extra die. One and more. Does this count as a success? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, oh. he's so close. Yes! <laughs> but Invincible Iron Man... Only reduces it to a minimum of one, so you will take one damage. Oh, okay. I can't. I, I saw these and I got yeah. so excited. Those are hits. Those, yeah, those are, are hits. Attack. That's the opposite uh -huh. of defense. So Carol Danvers gets enoughed into her friend Iron Man and and knocks him out. So he right. is so, he is dazed. So he is dazed. Yep. But he will gain. So it was from an enemy effect. Yeah. So he mm -hmm. still gains the point of power. Mm -hmm. um, and then he didn't have anybody in his hands because the horrifying scraping sound already scared them away. Yeah. 
Uh, Carol's fine. She holds on to her person. All right. So that is Carol's activation, I believe, because she moved. It started out so good. What a great response, though. That's right. action packed. I'm thinking that the Black Panther needs to pick up this civilian and and get a move on. Double book. move over. Well, to you the can only move movement. once. Remember. Oh, you're right. Hmm. Now that said, Winter Soldier does have two power. Yes. And tactical analysis is just played during your turn. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be played by the active All character. Right. So you could have T'Challa move his full distance right. and tactical analysis mm -hmm. him. A short. A short, which would definitely get him within range to drop off his person. All right. Consider it. But that would cost you your card. And you wouldn't be able to use it again, and mm -hmm. it would cost Winter Soldier 2 power. Okay. These are options. I only present options, not <laughs> solutions. So if, uh, assuming we do all of that, yeah. um, uh, Ultron has another... Mm -hmm. Activate. Sure. Yep. Yep. Um, so I will get to respond one more time. Yeah. Resolving one of these and turning it into points mm -hmm. sounds good, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So uh, depositing a civilian does that? So that's free. That is free. That's free. That okay. is free. You just dump him in the hole. Yep. Okay. <laughs> just put him in there. Anybody can do that. Picking him up is hard. Then dropping him off. Let's easy. go ahead and do this. I'll spend a power token to pick up the civilian. Okay. I will move. L. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is there a range so to the... Uh, the card will tell you if I there's you. a range. Okay. Yep. And it's range 3 on that one. So okay. you have quite a good amount of distance. Mm -hmm. Easy bees. Alright. So we'll just move here. Yep. Spend 2 Energon. Yeah. We'll spend 2 from the Winter Soldier. So Winter Soldier is going to play Tactical Analysis. Okay. And he's going to be like, hey T'Challa, it'd be really smart if you drop that person Choose another off. allied character within range 3 of mm -hmm. the character playing this card. Yeah. The chosen character may advance uh, S? Short. Short. Yep. Gotcha. So, uh, we'll so. advance short. Let's get over here. Yep. And then we'll deposit Yep, so you drop off civilian. your person. So the token comes off. Mm -hmm. And you guys are on the board with one. We finally did it. You finally did it. You saved a person. <laughs> Job over. Let's go get shawarma. Yeah, We're done exactly. now, right? That's, that's how it ends. Give me a check mark. You can have a check mark. All right, now, so I feel like, so what happens if Captain America deals that last point of damage? So, when uh, when I take all my damage, I activate We Are Ultron. Uh, when <laughs> Ultron, Master of Metal, would gain, gain a Days token, hence I've taken eight damage. Yeah. Uh, if he has four or less corrupted firmware tokens, he instead removes all damage and all special conditions from himself and gains a corrupted firmware token. I get a place within range three of my current location, or within range one of a, a Doomsday console that is controlled by me. So I could place within range one of either of these if yeah, I wanted amazing. to. Yeah, amazing. Okay. Uh, or within range three. Um, that's fine. And that's it. And then if I would take my fifth token, I'm KO'd. So. Okay. Well, I'm saying that I can, I can bop him. We can put one on him. And those corrupted firmware tokens, those affect you when... So, those affect some of your abilities, So right? the corrupted firmware tokens have a number of different effects on my abilities. So, for <clears> example, <throat> Energy Blast, for each corrupted firmware token I have, I lose one strength. Yeah. So it would go from a 7 to a 6. Um, I have an attack that I haven't used yet, which is called the Rage of Ultron. <laughs> it affects everything within an area of me. He says enough twice. Yeah. Um, enough, enough. <laughs> if I have three or more corrupted firmware tokens, the area attack increases to range two, so it becomes really scary. But I have to have three tokens on me. And then last but not least, that enough power that I just used, yeah. for each corrupted firmware token I have, it increases the cost by one. So instead of costing two, it would cost me three. Okay, sounds like corrupted firmware is pretty great. It's pretty solid. I mean, for the most part, it is a benefit to you, <laughs> with the exception of the rage. My rage builds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well... I feel like trying to put a trying to put something on there is good. Okay. Um, so are we going to try to pick up the person, or are we just going? Are we just going for Ultron here? Uh, well, my shield throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah here is range four. Let's go right? here. So we can definitely. Yeah, yep. that'll definitely. That's work. easy. I can use my power to do this, but shield throw doesn't cost any energy. Correct. So I'll do that. I'll yep. grab the person. Okay. And then I'm going to throw my shield at you. All right. Which so, is four dice. Physical attack with four dice. That's right. So I'm going to get five, you have five defense. defense, right? Yep. I have two so far with a crit. Mm -hmm. I have two. Okay. You have two so far with a crit. So I need three. So you need, yeah, you need one. You need to get one. Crit while or hit. Oh, I did it! No! Okay, good. <laughs> 
All right, so is no one of the abilities? So, I wish it was. <laughs> it should be. I wish it was. <laughs> Work on it. So I, I take one damage, uh, which will give me a which would give me a daze token. Um, so I'm going to gain a corrupted firmware token, which we just use these little tokens for. Mm-hmm. Boo! <laughs> uh, boo to you. Boo to, boo to you. I can place within range three now. Of either. Of myself, so I can either place myself within range three of wherever I am, yeah, mm-hmm. or I can place within range one of a console I control. I don't feel like being a coward right now, so I think we're just going to all in place range, looks like. range three right here. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a good fight. Uh, <clears throat> but it's also Captain America and, and Bucky, which is the content that Tumblr wants. The challenge that I have here is: Do I enough for three? Which would leave me three short of being able to Rage of Ultron. In the hopes that I roll secondary power reserve and get my three back so and, then I can Rage of goosed. Ultron. Well, but you're, you're going to be throwing six dice on that, right? I, I am. That's pretty I am. good. I don't know. I feel like I can feel the silver tongue like tickling my ear right now. <laughs> you've, gotten, but I, happening. you've gotten it each other time. Enough! <laughs> <laughs> you've gotten it each other time. And that's, so we're going to throw Captain America into his bestie, Bucky Barnes. So Cap will take one. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And he will gain a power from that. And then Bucky will make a dodge roll. So he will take three damage. You will roll your physical defense of three, Kiko. Okay. And you'll be looking for crits, wilds, and blocks. You're literally throwing us into each I other. I am. <laughs> I'm just I'm asking for it at this point. I'm getting you closer, not further apart. Uh, I got, so you got one, one crit. You get to roll another die. No. All right. So you're going to so block one. So you'll mm-hmm. take two damage. Two and damage. you will gain two power. All right, here we go. Here's for the money. So enough is very good. So, so what are you gonna dish out with? My activation. Yeah. Yep. So Doomsday we're, machine. We're in a doomsday machine. So I get six dice. Six beautiful dice. I need a crit or a, or I need a fail or a blank so that I can get my power back. There, there we go. go. Oh, that was terrible though. Four of the same. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yes. All right. So it's okay though. It's okay though. So you get super goose. So I have secondary power reserves. I gain three power. Yeah. I control console so I don't flip anything else. Mm-hmm. One path to peace. Goodbye, Steve. <sighs> I will score a point. We are now tied. So I eliminate all civilians on the board. There was one, it's gone. Uh, and then we have the four hits. There are four horrifying scraping sounds. Yeah. Uh, so you do have. Um, Tokens, so those characters will drop their terrified civilian tokens. Did Captain America take a point of damage? He did. Okay. Well, yeah, he needs to put one on him, but damn it! I know. Okay, so remember, you can you're place within say, range two. Yeah. You're supposed to say same team. Same, same team. <laughs> same team. <laughs> and you definitely don't want him to be within range one of me because I will eliminate him quickly, and then Carol state. will drop hers. Yes. Yeah. I will. I will send him to a better place, to a peaceful place. That's it. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is from Steve. Yep. Over here is better. I, I would agree. It's going to be a lot harder for me to murder right? both of them right <laughs> away. You were tempting me though. I was like, ah, do I continue to pick on Captain America and Bucky, or do I do I go after these yeah. civilians now? It's tough. It's tough. Uh, all right. The matter transfer. Okay. We're going to. If I do this though, I can't get rid of those people. It's it's bloodthirst versus you you've upset me greatly. Yeah. <laughs> rage of Ultron! Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna rage. All right. This is a six power cost attack. Okay. It is area one. So oh, it's it targets every enemy character within range one of them. So, so just those two. Yep. Um, it is strength nine. It seems like a lot. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that's why it does cost six. That's why it costs six, yes. Um, and then after the, if this attack deals damage, uh, I get to push you away short. Okay. But just push, not throw. Just push, not throw. Yep. And I push you in any direction short, actually. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to target... Mm, I'm going to target Steve Rogers first. So you have an interesting choice to make. I do. Because you have two reactive abilities. Yeah, I have bodyguard. You have bodyguard. And you have Vibranium Shield. Yeah. Now... Um, but I only, have, I only have one power. Oh, one power. Yeah. But you do have a Dan like any other. Oh, that's true. So, so I reduce the power cost. You reduce the power cost of the first superpower you use this turn. Yeah. 
So basically from my activation by one. Yeah. So you could use your one power to Vibranium Shield. Yeah. And or then maybe take no damage and right. have no power. Or do I throw myself in front of Bucky or Barnes? do you take it? Yeah. And then maybe save your friend and pal Bucky with the power that you'll have remaining on you. Well, here, so what, what's Bucky's physical defense? Maybe he's, he's got the fucking robot arm. <laughs> he, just, uh, three. Physical defense, three. Oh, oh no. Three. He'll get chewed up by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, so. of course, you could Vibranium Shield, get six dice. I'm rolling nine, still take some damage. If you take two damage, you can still bodyguard for your buddy. That's what I'm going to do. But these are, the, these are the decisions that you have yeah, to make. Yeah, I'll try to do the bodyguard thing. All right, so you're not going to Vibranium Shield. I don't think so. Okay. So you're guaranteed to be able to bodyguard now. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So nine dice, uh, yep. energy. I'm about to have a lot of power. Versus your four. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, nine dice. Here we go. Mm. I needed a folly of man on this one, but I didn't have the power. Hey, right. that's, not, that's, that's not, not, not the worst. It's not the worst. We got one more. All right. So we just have five. We just have five. Even the shields are good for you? Oh, we have four. Yeah, I was like, but the... <laughs> same team. Oh wait, yeah. we're not on the same team. We are, we, this is the opposite, <laughs> the opposite <laughs> so, team. So I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to save as much health as I can here. Mm -hmm. All right, you got this. Right. Yep. Shields, wilds, and, and crits. crits. Yep. You what got a, one. What a nightmare. You got one. <laughs> so we both didn't do great. That said, you're you're not gonna fall over. You're not gonna fall over. No, no. You're just gonna take three. Yep. And, and also earn three energy. Yep. I mean, it doesn't feel great. All right, but because the Eltron giveth and he taketh away. Because well, he, I, he's about to give it again. <laughs> because I dealt damage to you, I'm going to push you away short. So that bodyguarding that you wanted to do, <laughs> you can bodyguard that car if you want. Yeah, you can take care of the car if you, you want. You are a bad person. <laughs> I am a bad person. You're a demonstrably bad person. No doubt. I could have vibranium no. shielded and been <laughs> you fine. Could have vibranium shielded and been fine. <sighs> yep, so you're not going to be a ranger bodyguard anymore. Satanic. It's, it's, he's an evil robot man. Yeah. What, what do you do? That's on me. All right, here we go, Bucky. So nine dice energy. Three now you'll notice that your defense. spec NAS training will kick in here. Yes. So you're very good close up. This character may reroll one die when either attacking or being attacked by a character oh, that is uh, within one. I'm paying one. for my sinful ways here. I got four. Uh, I got Woo! two successes, one of them being a crit. Yep. Uh, I'll roll this crit. Hey! There you go. So good. just take one. Mm -hmm. Hell right. yeah, Well, Keek. I'll push you anyway. Apparently, you know, Captain America did his job. He put the shield in front of me, I got a little distracted. It's fine. It's very shiny. There's yeah. a glare. It's like, ah. Right okay, so that was my first action. <laughs> that have, was your... Oh, but, the, but that basically no run you out. Yeah, I have no power now, so... I kind of put myself in a really in a really terrible position. I guess I'm just gonna wail on Captain America. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna metallic talons cap, which is a strength six physical. Okay, that sounds bad. I have uh, four defense. Yep, and he's physical. So now uh, <laughs> the, just the profundity of how you manipulated me, worm tongue. I gave you options. I didn't tell you what to do. I gave you your options. No, it was you it, chose not to it buy was the undercoating but because it's a physical attack, the vibranium shield. So you is, can still use vibranium shield on this attack, but you'll have oh, to it's spend for physical too. Yep. Yeah. You'll have to spend two to use it. Now. I'm doing it easy. Okay. That's the easiest call on earth. So you'll have two back, and you'll get six dice to my six dice. You're goddamn right. Here we go. Oh, he's tired. He's really he tired. really he's all tuckered Where's out. Where's my folly of man here? Nap time. Where's my folly of man? I need a juice box. <laughs> so all right, three coming at you. <laughs> oh, you got you got two so far. Let's see if you can, uh... Can, can you do it? Can you, you block know, it all? Can you live you the Star Spangled Dream or are you going to fall over? Yeah. Oh! Man, man. I came out... And the shield. Oh. Yeah. And it looks right. Oh. It feels right. I only needed one more to daze you, too. <laughs> Alright, well I get no power from that and you don't fall over. So, overall, not a productive turn for Team Robot. Uh, that is it for me, so the third activation token will go on our tracker. That was really that exciting. Ends round one. Okay. It does. So now we will score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So during the cleanup phase, uh, I will score one point for each console, so uh -huh. I'll gain two. Uh, you guys have one console, so you'll gain one. Mm -hmm. 
And then all of the dazed characters will flip to their injured side. That's so true. they'll remove all their damage and they will keep all their power. So Spider-Man will just remove his damage. He'll turn him over to his injured side. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so then he's down to clown. Yep, and he's back up and ready to go. And we'll remove all of our activation tokens. All right. So Kiko, what do you think about a turn? We and we we start in the turn activation. We'll order, start. Right? So yeah. the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our power phase. So we're going to yep. power up. So everybody's going to gain one. Vision is going to choose what phasing type he wants this round. But so he's still pretty far away. So he's going to maintain his um, uh, phased his phased form. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you guys will take the the first turn of the round. So, Keek, so. how do you feel about throwing a car at Ultron? Well, the, the <laughs> car throwing at Ultron is quite possible. The truth is, I can run up on him. I mean, I think with you a guys, shield slam. You guys can guarantee score two this round from these two people. Yeah, that I so totally I think, boffed I in think, my yeah, in my desire for blood. I think the way that it works, Kiko. This is one turn scenario. Tell me what you think. Spidey and Carol drop off. Double spinning, like on fire NBA Jam style, Ooh, yeah. human heads right into this hole, and then um, Captain America goes back and engages him in a physical melee mm, using his shield mm. slam, or and then I knock him into the car at the end of the fight, mm. <laughs> or yeah, we flip some consoles. Console's also good, but I feel like if he comes back around, he he has so many ways of knocking these people out of our hands. We have to pick them up and score them now. Yeah, I'm saying we in terms of third. dunk two civilians. The yeah. third is making him less powerful by flipping a console. Guaranteed. I, there's nothing. There's nothing is, I don't love about that. And Cap will have to wait it out. Yeah, yeah. Wait out because storm. he is fresh. This is a fresh he, Ultron. He's, he's pretty fresh. Just, just, just some corruption. He's a little <laughs> corrupted, you know. But, but, but all I'm saying is that Cap is basically one hit point away from being mm-hmm. xed. And so it's possible that this is the last opportunity I'm going to have this before round. he gets flipped. Yeah. So, so first of all, let's just do the thing here. Let's uh, let's, let's uh, from the free remember, throw line. Remember Carol, your cards, though. You could second wind if you really wanted to. Well, I could second wind, and that would only affect Cap. So yeah. some health. Well, It'd be I one. I can drop. I can drop some juice off here. Captain Marvel can can mm-hmm. can lose a damage too. But she's yep. Pretty, yep she's yep. ready to she's fucking good. roll. She's pretty good. So pretty good. I'm going to spend one okay. energy all to right. pick up this human being. Yeah. Uh, and then I fly medium. So you could, because uh, depending on what you want to do, yeah. you could shoot Ultron before you move, because you can do your actions in any Oh, order. that's a great idea. Um, now, if you drop off the civilian, you'll no longer have it, which means that Carol could move again. Because the rule preventing mm-hmm. her from moving twice oh, would go away. I'm fine, so last, like, and then go. Sure. Because right? the other option is you move here, you drop a civilian, you move over here, you search a car. Yeah. And you try to you try to grab another civilian. But you are a hateful liar. <laughs> and I, I, there's something I haven't thought about. You, I'm telling you, not, bad, I'm not so telling you about what to do. I'm simply giving you options. Definitely a monster. All um, right, so we're we're energy blasting here. Well, there's let's see, rocket punch. So you need three for that because it's not oh, a superpower; oh, it's an attack. You mean three energy? Yeah. Yep. That's a really good ability, though. Next time. Next time. We'll consider that. Yeah. Um, so for now, we're just gonna energy blast. That'll help me juice up a little bit. Yep. Uh, energy I mean, blast. technically, you could energy blast, and then you could rocket punch me. But that I'm, would be a few actions. I am just saying it's you, possible. You said, I'm just giving you options. That's it. <laughs> you are a monster. So here's, here's, here's what's actually going to happen. Okay, what's actually going to uh, happen? We're, I'm going to use my uh, energy blast. All right. Generate some more power. Okay. And then head over to the, the hole. All right, let's do it. Well, that's pretty good. It so ain't, you got you got it the ain't crit. Bad. You got the crit. Oh, that's oh, really that's bad. bad. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you don't want that. So two of them are not successes, but you're energy blasting. So any number of dice, you get a re-roll. Oh, that's right. So you get to re-roll those two blocks. Not skulls. This is not skulls, those but two. but those two for sure. So you got four. That's that's pretty good. I'm gonna God, take that's four healthy. damage. I'm gonna take four damage. And to, and get four energy. And get four. Yep. Four but power. I also generate four energy. No, 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 no. Oh, because it's too great. You gain one. Because it's too rad. Yeah. It's too be too good that way. It's too. You get one. You get a guaranteed one for using energy blast. It's too blasts. sweet. You gotta punch me otherwise. Exactly. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the rock downtown. All right. Taking it there. So as long as you're within range one, you're gonna drop out the civilian. There's the so rock. We'll remove the rock. You score one. We are now tied. Okay. All right. Uh, and that uh, is qu- that quite is a healthy Carol. turn. So what do you what do you, what do you want to do here, Peter? It looks like this is going to be a pretty easy turn. I'm going to move, uh, drop off a civilian, move again, and then check a car. 
So I like that. when you throw when you throw the cars, you use the uh, so a throw works oh, by no, using I'm the. Oh, if there's a civilian in the car. So you could throw the car too because you do okay. have you do have web a pole. Mm-hmm. So I was going to say so he 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 might not have seen that. So yes. okay. So web a pole uh-huh. before you before you grab and head over there. Oh, okay. You can like fling the web over here and mm-hmm. throw this from here mm-hmm. at him. So yeah, so you have a there are super there are superpowers yeah. in the game that allow mm-hmm. for throws. So for example, web a pole web a pole says choose a terrain feature or enemy character within of size two, mm-hmm. within range three. So the car. Definitely there. Ultra in size three, so you can't throw him with web pull. When you throw a terrain feature, it gets destroyed from the table, so it's just removed from the map. And then you take the appropriate movement tool. In this case, Spider-Man throws short. You make mm-hmm. sure it's perfectly straight. You place yeah. it in base contact with yourself. Mm-hmm. The first thing that tool touches, the terrain feature collides with. Okay. So basically, you would just do three points of collision damage to Ultron. Mm-hmm. I would get to roll my dodge roll. Gotcha. It's like normal. Uh, so if if you want to do that, mm-hmm. or you go, get and it somebody, doesn't cost. If if you generated a token out here, mm-hmm. you would fuck his entire plan up. Yes. If you if, if you generated a, a civilian token out here, <laughs> you don't know my plan. He would have to contend with it. I need you to be quiet, and I yeah. need you to look at these questions. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have for questions? Oh, I mean, the questions are fine. This is more important. More important. But but I I think that this so one, it also seems more Spider-Man, frankly. The one thing I'll mention get the is, point. Yeah. is that um, if you destroy whenever a train feature is destroyed, a terrified civilian pops out of it. Oh. So you would place a civilian within range one of the <sighs> yeah, we don't want back here. To just step on. Yeah, to eat, we don't want don't that. to puncture like a juice I box. Think, I think a friendly neighborhood spider yeah. would look for not, a civilian. It's not going to throw so, the car. Yes. No. All right. So expend some juice. All right. All right. So we're going to spend one. So we're going to spend one to pick up this civilian, and then we're going to move L. He's L. Yeah. It's Spider Man. Well, I mean, I don't disagree. He's very quick. He's very fast. And we're going to drop off. So that's All right, million. perfect. So we're gonna score. Uh, does not cost you power to drop off. Uh huh. Only to pick up. Yeah. So. Uh, am I within range one to check a car? Well, you would have been because you could have gone even farther this yep. way. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you then... could have just gone to here. All right. Yeah. There you go. And then I will. Uh, oh, can Spider Man be the hero you need and spend just spend a power? Just grab somebody immediately, like dunk him in. To like, it's free. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> it's free. Uh huh. This is what this is my plan all along. Put him in. You just so, gotta find uh, somebody. I just gotta find somebody. This is uh, put him in the hole. Yeah, is that correct? Just stuff him in that hole. No, no. you didn't find anybody. Didn't find anybody. You didn't find anybody. <clears throat> but did you, his best. No, no. But you've enunciated a very novel, cheesy mechanic here. <laughs> uh, turn you only over moved turn. once, right? You still I have another once. action, so you uh, could move over to this card. You can't. Car. You can't search this car again. Right. But you could try searching the garbage truck or the chemical truck. Right. Or the other car. Or can I flip a switch? Or you could flip a switch. Flip a switch. Uh, this doesn't go on there because we didn't find anybody. Oh, uh, you're right. So it you can still empty. search it. It's just Spider-Man can't what search a it again. Long move there, so and then you're in position move. to snatch. Yeah. Oh, look at this! Look at this going! Look at you guys working so, like a TM. Look at this monster! Like a TM. Oh boy! All right, so we're gonna spend one and flip this console. Yes. All right, I like it. Now we can put a check. Now right we're here. cooking with with grease. Okay, so Carol's done. Peter's yep, done. So one more. Yeah, exactly. One more. So, so Captain America is so screwed. <laughs> he just needs to do it. it he needs because, to go. No, because he's going to get jacked hard. This mm-hmm. is what the captain would do. As, so, as soon as as soon as he we activates, go all out. I'm sorry. He's going to wreck him. Cap. Cap. As, he, as soon as he activates, he's going to deal one point of damage. Mm-hmm. So then I am stunned, and I don't get to do cool mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes. The only mm-hmm. cool thing here is for me, I think, to go and shield slam him. Right? Yeah. And if I shield slam you here, you get knocked back into this. Well, you won't be able to throw me because I'm too big. So oh, shield oh, Sam yeah. says He's you can only like, throw oh, size two. two. Mm-hmm. Size two. So, but you could still you could still attack me. I mean, you could punch me a bunch too. That's true. I cannot spend any power. No, I could come up and strike and shield slam. Mm-hmm. Because uh, both of these are yep. you're are definitely in range. Because I I smacked you with my talons. So that's true. So I feel like we have to do strikes and shield slam. I mean, that seems like the right call. You're in control. That seems like it's the right... It's your story to write, God, Jerry. you know what? It feels... It, I feel like a million fucking dollars. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So let's let's do it. We're going right. to start it with a strike. Do it, so he's a fucking melee monster. We're sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, yeah, Captain America. Well, I usually think of him as being like a cool... Punchy. Well, but a technical character with like the yeah. multi-hit range yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, you, if he gets up on you, it's raw. Yeah. He, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. All right. Uh, he's very tanky, but he can, he can handle his own. Yes, right. but, I, but this is also an opportunity to generate some real power. 
Real power. True power. Not that way, though. What a shit That's, show. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, I will block three. Well, so I'll, I'll take nothing. Shut up your ass, Will. What do you think about, <laughs> think about to that? To be fair, I have, to, I have to be honest. To be fair, I was really hoping you would damage him because then I was going to enough you into the car and knock you down before you could make your second action. God, that would have been amazing. But I can't out. because you total knockout. Because you rolled like garbage. Yeah, you can't because you were so ineffective. You were <laughs> so ineffective. Dude, I elevate this shit to art. <laughs> so here, let's go with six for the shield slam. Now that costs two. Yep. All right. So shield slam. Mm -hmm. Six dice. Let's get it. Here we go. Make it happen. Oh dear, sweet you got, Jesus. You got three. I mean, it's not. It's not worst. It's not the best. I only got. I only got two. I'll, yeah, take, yeah. One. So I'll take one. Point take one point of damage. Think about that. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> I will. I will gain my one. I'm gonna spend three because I have a corrupted firmware token. I'm gonna enough you into this car and Steve daze you. Fucking Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. So, but, but, so I, I, you take one damage. Oh, oh, one one damage is enough. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because you only you have go. five, right? So. Yep. So does so a take one, but you'll gain a power, mm -hmm. and then you are dazed. Good job, Steven. Which yeah. honestly doesn't really change anything except I don't have to expend energy like effort on knocking him out of my turn. Cool. But, but then so the main problem. But, but I was able to get one last turn you did, out of him, you which did. is amazing. I mean, All right here. You had the chance to be a hero, and then you just <laughs> kind of did you, and yeah. it was over. <laughs> it's unfortunate. All right. So that was number three, correct? It so was. It is now my turn. I'm going to start with my fantastic doomsday device, rolling six dice. Hiya! Oh, stop it! All right, that's, that's good for us. Oh, that's yeah. mega health. Yeah. This is the worst. And no, but but also no power, no power generation. power either. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all all right. Uh, so I got a better age. Oh nope, sorry. I have a horrifying scraping sound. Does anyone know? Okay, because you don't. It now counts as a crit, but I already rolled a crit, so this isn't really going to help me. Ha, ha. I know. So this it's all falling great. apart. It's all falling apart. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to go to a better age. The Cosmic Threat player chooses a terrain feature with an uh, evacuated token on it. There are none. Not currently, yeah. Um, so therefore I choose any one that I want on the board. I'm going to pick... I'm going to get rid of this car. You have to. It was too good, right? So I'm, I'm going to destroy the car so you can't like just ferry people back and forth. I'm only going to gain two power from that. Because I gain it, power equal to the size of the And when you destroy it, that doesn't generate a... It does generate a person. Mm -hmm. So you will get to pop out a little person. So you can pop one out right next to Senior Black Panther. That's a, that's a freebie right mm -hmm. there. If, if I don't come tell him about my wonderful timeshare upstate first. <laughs> uh, and then last but not least, I have Devastating Barrage. So I pick three characters within range three of... The center? Home base. Okay, so uh, Iron Man, Carol, and... It looks like it is just well, going to be these three. we just heat ourselves up. Yeah, right. so <laughs> each of these characters will take one damage and gain one power. Okay. Devastating Barrage. Pat, 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 pat. Okay, Ultron. We need to live our best life here. <sighs> well, we really have to deal with this civilian. Because I don't, I don't want you guys scoring all of these points. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm fine with it, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spend... I'm not gonna spend anything yet. I'm going to advance to here. I'm gonna spend two to matter transfer. <laughs> and drink the juice Today. box. I'm gonna spend one... This poor businessman. <laughs> and send this businessman upstate <laughs> and score one. And then I'm going to spend two, and I'm going to go after my... It's where he wanted to retire, yeah. so... It is. what he wanted. This is what he wanted. Is, this for was, him, it's a this saving. This is his life. Yeah. He's on a fixed income. I know. Uh, he just had this little Honda, so... I'm going to shoot Iron Man with my energy beam. So I have a corrupted firmware, so my strength has gone from seven to six. So it's a six dice energy attack. Oh, so we gotta keep we got to keep dishing up that. All right, here we go. Yeah. That was awful. I got one. Cool. So you, you get to roll, roll three it. dice. Right. I do want you to roll defense. <laughs> I mean... All right, we're good. No. <laughs> All right, I gain one power from that, and that is going to be Ultron's first activation. Okay. God, that was really Your exciting. next three. It's surprisingly exciting. All right. <laughs> um, so what's the, uh, what's the scenario? I thought, we had a, I thought we had free juice up there. Mm -hmm. But we, got, we, we got two opportunities to flip some switches over here. No, no, we have we have mega switch flipping opportunities. Mm -hmm. We got that and that. I mean, do you want? I mean, do you do want this we win if we have all four switches? Of course, no, we do not. <laughs> but but we will minimize his his mega yes. rolls. Although his, what we've seen in the past is that the more the dice gear, you have, there's something stuck in the gears right yeah. now. I think I think the horrifying scraping sound says I need a little maintenance. <laughs> so if I went to here. 
and discovered a person, I could then take that person to here mm -hmm. and deposit them. Well, you wouldn't be able to move again, though. Yeah, you wouldn't That's be able to move once, you then, mm -hmm. yeah. once I have them, you get one move is if they're there. Yep. Now, Black Panther kind of has a really cheeky way to get around this in that he has a superpower called Pounce. And Pounce says Black Panther spends two power and he throws himself short. So Black Panther ah, could throw himself towards this car, pick up a person if he had another power. The problem is he only has two. And then he could then move because he hadn't moved that turn. That's delicious. Or alternatively, he could move here, pick up a person, and then pounce back. But he'd right. need another power. Do we want these flipped? Because I can just automatically do them. Exactly. Well, and they're also worth VPs. Yes. So if we give him something else to do, mm -hmm. other than just murder our heroes... <laughs> um, but I, I, this, there's, a, there's scenarios here where... Um, I, I, I think uh, Okoye actually has kind of a cool play here where we can flip this, right? That costs one. Mm -hmm. And there's a search. Uh, Okoye only has one. Oh, and search... Search would yeah, cost one, one yep. also. So what's your... Do you have, do you have two characters anything only have range? Single? Yeah. So I have a Vibranium, vibranium a Spear Blast. It's only four. But it does generate you one power, I believe. We just have to be very tricky... So you could flip the moment. console. Yeah. yeah. Move to here, shoot him, gain your power, and then search that. Because it's really not an action. To. Sure, but we'll be but then exposing you'll be, a civilian you, to Ultron. You would be you'd be next to you'd be next to Ultron to get eaten with a coil. Yeah, <laughs> I think we got to flip switches and then get set up for well, yeah, searches. Yeah, but but, I, yeah. but so how many damage do you have on Ultron right now? Okay, I have three left before I take my next firm. See, one. Yeah, this, definitely. I think you flip, go flip. over here, throw the spear, and then we're ready. And then you're ready for, for your next activation. activation. Okay. So, let's do All that. Right. Hit it. All right. Koye's going. So I want to make sure I'm within four on my movement. So, yeah, basically, wherever. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's flip the switch with okay. one power. And then let's move a Koye here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Vibranium Sphere. With, yeah. with your Vibranium, vibranium Sphere Vibranium Sphere, that is uh, strength four. Okay. I have four dice energy defense. I got two. I have nothing and one. but a crit. But I do get to re-roll. You do. This character may re-roll one die in its attack or defense yes. rolls. And you get to add one for your crit. And I'll add one for my crit. I'll do that right now. Mm, let's mm. re-roll one. <laughs> so yeah, that's two. Right, so two, two. two. Uh -huh. So nothing. I'll take no damage. Okay. You do gain your power though. Okay. From uh, the special roll on Vibranium Spear. Uh, after this attack is resolved, this character gains one power. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. So that's your two actions. So. Mm -hmm. So, so, Bl Widow. so Black Widow, what do you think? She has a ranged strike that's only two. I can definitely get around with the two moves to flip this switch. Oh, is I, that enough? I think that that's pretty good. Okay. Um, because Flipping again, all my switches. But it changes. The reason we like it is because mm -hmm. it changes all of his mathematics. Yes. Don't change robot mathematics. That's. <laughs> That's so I guess, go I guess ahead and I'm playing with that. I'm playing with forces I couldn't possibly comprehend. That's right. So there, mm -hmm. I'm not mm. close enough currently. Yep. So you have to get uh, a little bit closer. So let's just move. Okay. And, and then I'll spend it. my power to flip it. All right, you flipped my switches. Now the rage is truly coming. Uh, and we have one more <laughs> activation this turn. Bucky can definitely put some damage on him. That he should absolutely do. And he, he, can, he can attack twice, right? Uh, well, if he's in range, but I don't believe that he'll be within range five. Yeah. So he'll have to move to be able I'll to I'll have attack. to move. Okay. Do we want to do that? But I'm, I'm perfectly fine with him dumping dice on him. Okay. Uh, do, is there any... All day long. Vision. So for in terms of vision, I have, I have a, a touch of energy, but not the really good stuff. Okay. We need the activation token here, I think. Uh, he also has a daze token, so yeah. if you have oh, a daze token, you can yeah. yeah. Okay. And Carol's good. The good, good. Um, and Spidey's good. Mm -hmm. So vision is uh, the solar energy beam is basically a big uh, energy generator. Uh -huh. But before damage is dealt, the target character loses one energy for each wild in the attack roll, mm -hmm. and he I only gain has one energy. It doesn't seem that it's valuable. Not, it's not hyper efficient. Yeah. So the other thing to be aware with beams is that when you do a beam attack, it's kind of like an area attack. So it will, oh, B four. It will. Yep. It'll hit everything that's touched by the template. We don't want that. No. So I'm you not don't. Even in range. You don't make an attack roll against your characters. 
Um, they just suffer one point of damage if they're within the beam area. Oh, so you, you let people play with it, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other option is Black Panther hasn't activated yet, and he's got a pretty decent. Well, my my suspicion is that he probably attack. fucks people yeah, up with it, right? Five power at range two, he could do it twice. Well, or, yeah, do, no, do that or do that, and then kinetic burst. You're a true, you're a true hero, and you deal at least one damage to Ultron. You mm -hmm. gain your one power. Yeah. Then you can pounce to the car, pick up a person, and move back. I don't want to hear any of this. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was just trying to help you out. These are options. No, he's not wrong. No, if, if you so if you do give him with a claw, which yeah. he is what he deserves. Right. Um, I deserve the strike, yeah. It could be, and it's five dice, right? So I can generate a bunch of power if I land some hits here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I can immediately do vibranium shielding. You could, you could. On these three characters, I believe. Yeah. Or actually, no, depending on how much I spend. Depends on how much you spend, it'll be uh, the range. So give, give it up to five, which would be like yeah. basically everyone. And if everyone you stay where you are. Is, uh, gains uh, invulnerability innate superpower. Mm -hmm. Reduce, it's effectively similar to Iron Man's Invincible Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Reduce but I, but I would have by it in one addition. minimum. Mm -hmm. Yep, you would have it in addition. That, that seems, seems like a good play. That seems like a really good play. Mm -hmm. I love that. All right. So, but but definitely start out by hurting him. Taking yeah, so up. Let's do two two uh, a strike. All right. So we're gonna strike. You got five dice. I have five dice as well. Ooh, he's he's not interested in these vibranium claws. Oh, I got five. All right. Get through that. Hey, look at oh, that. So we've got oh, four here, good. and I get to re-roll, or I get to add a die. Yeah. And, and you could spend one to re-roll if you wanted to with your leadership ability. But you only have one blank. Let's see yeah, what, roll the one. Let's now you know this turns. Yeah. So that's mm. nothing. Even if you re-roll, it, it doesn't matter. The best matter. you can do yeah. is, is the match best I can do, yeah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think i got to do it again. So, yeah, exactly. but so first, uh, you're going to want to read all the special rules. After this attack is resolved, this character gains uh, equal to the Power, damage yep. dealt. Yeah. And then the second one. Before damage is dealt, push the target character away uh, from this character a small. Do I have to? You have to, because it says it, there's no Ooh, may. Ooh, gotcha. So he's going to wind up kind of... I mean, well, you can choose. So you have some choices with away. Mm -hmm. So effectively... That's the range. These are, You have to keep it within this kind of band. So you can push gotcha. him this way, mm -hmm. you can push him down that way. But it'll have to go the full short distance. It honestly doesn't matter, does it? No, the, I don't think so. Yeah, just directly away, this way, straight back. Yeah, straight. So he's not Ooh. any closer to uh, any consoles. Well, that didn't turn out great. Um, <laughs> what a nightmare! <laughs> what a Let's beast! Yet, um, I don't know. It's, it doesn't seem worth it for only two. Uh, for for two characters. Yeah, so it would be any characters within uh, range two at mm -mm. that point. No, you know? if you generated a bunch of power, it'd be a different thing. It'd be a different thing. So let's move him to the car, I guess, maybe. So what's this pounce Oscar? thing you're talking about? Yeah. So pounce is this character is thrown uh, short. Short. So you could use pounce to hop back and then and attack then, uh, me again. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That'll so cost me two. Cost two. No, would you rather jump over, over here? here Get a person, move back, and score. Well, I'll, I'll be out of power. I can't. Yeah, he won't be able to pick up oh, another then, person. Then, then, then yeah. hurt him. Let's uh, pounce. <laughs> then, then hurt him. <laughs> then hurt him. If you can't then, save people, just inflict pain. Then hurt it's, the robot. Uh, this yeah. is five. All right, here we go. I need something better here. Well, you had something great. That's true. I did. Two. You did really well. I have two. So I did not do as great this time. That's Oh, that's so pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Three, three currently. Add three two. Currently. Add two, yeah. And I get to reroll one. If you spend a power, but you have no power. So. No power. Gotcha. Let's make it good. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Four. So four. So I block two. I take two. Okay. That's going to put me at seven. I have one left. And you get pushed again. I will gain two power. And I get pushed again. So you're just taking me right out of the fight here, Black yeah. Panther. Leave. Just straight away. Yeah, that's perfect. Whee. Goodbye. Rude. Yeah, exa Rude. exactly. No, clearly, it's, it's like it's like good day, sir. Rude. Rude. We reserve the right to refuse service. And you would gain two power as well. I did. Yep. All right. Perfect. So am I up? You are. All right, Ultron. Let's let's roll this Doomsday console here. Although. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, significantly so, diminished. So, so few of these are mine. Oh, we'll make it. Ah, this isn't great. <laughs> okay. Right. So. Blank, three I will energy. gain three power, and I control no consoles, so I will flip this console to me. Boop. Uh, and then on the 
Horrifying scraping sound. No one is holding a, a person, so no. I will jump to devastating barrage. Barrage. And we will pick Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther again to take one damage and gain a power. Okay. All right, Ultron. I think we need to start KOing heroes. That's what we need. Can we do it is the question. Let's find out. All right. Ultron's going to advance. He's going to spend two for matter transference. <laughs> he's uh, a thing for Spider-Man. He really to, does. It's weird. He's Poor. gonna spend one and he's gonna flip this console. Poor Peter. I know, right? And then oh, we're gonna explain to Peter Parker the folly of man. So I'm gonna spend two. <laughs> it's a whole thing. So he has it on his thing. phone. The whole thing. I would like to. He have you been, heard about the folly of man? He hasn't lived long enough to understand exactly. what you're he's talking like, no, about. No, I haven't taken that class. Have, have, have you? Let, let me explain. And I'm going to metallic talons. So six right. dice physical, and I count blanks as successes. Good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty nice. Eh, man, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Got one crit. Oh, that's terrible. All right, so you got four coming at me? I have five because blanks count. Uh, okay. From the folly of your manhood. We've got just a one. All right, but you get to add that, one. Not a crit. That was a blank. And then you get spider sense, so you do get to reroll two of these. It's great. It's pretty good. Rerolls are very solid. Oh, all right. So Nothing. you're gonna take four. Boy, it's just it's piling not, up. It's not exactly what we hoped. We hoped for five. Five, <laughs> five would have done it. Can you grab me some more? Uh, five. Some more damage. Yes. Done it. Yeah. You bet, bud. Here you all go. All right. <laughs> Uh, Let me reach into this terrine. And unfortunately, that's going to be the end of Ultron's activation. So he's done. His whole age? His whole, his whole age is over, yeah. His age sucks. His age wasn't very impressive. That's true. <clears throat> we hoped for more, but I got kicked around by a panther. So you don't get stunned? You don't get nope. dazed? Nope. So if I deal, if I hit you with my repulsor blast... Yep. Or your Unibeam at this point, because you have oh, all, no, the, no, all no, the power no. ever. We're not going to use I'm not oh, going to use the use Unibeam when you have one hit point <laughs> left. No? I, you know what I mean? I don't know why. Yeah. See? Style no, points no, here. No, no. Repulsor Blast. Yeah. Um, so none of your damage would spill over. So I just gain a Corrupted Firmware token. I would take off all of my damage. And then yeah. I would get to place within range three, or place within range one of a console. And it's four... It's it basically my, my four energy dice... Versus your four energy. Unless dice. you spent one to Friday AI, and then you could, or two to Friday two. AI, and yeah. then you could add two dice to that roll and roll six. Yep. But I think you'll have to move no matter what because you're out of range. So you'll get one attack on me with Iron Man. Okay. Well, it's probably worth... unless you homing rockets, which would be two, and you could yep. Friday AI that for two, and then you wouldn't have to move. True. Depends it's on five. if you want to move or not. It's five. It is five. It's range five. It's a big boy. <clears throat> but that's also five dice physical to your five, mm -hmm. right? Well, if you Friday AI'd, you'd add two to it, seven. Have to. Yep. Okay. So we're going to do the homing rockets. So we spend two for homing rockets. Yep. And then two more. Yep. And uh, for Friday normally AI. Friday AI is three, but because of Dan like exactly. any other, it goes down by one. Yeah. So seven dice. Seven dice to my five physical. In your mouth. Oh, to eat. That's that's how they're home. They're homing into yeah, my mouth. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, they're precision rockets. Oh, well, they might be because I just blanked out. So I think you got me. I think you might have this. Well, good because it cost four energy. <laughs> Will I think I think you might have this. You you totally got me. You got me with authority and the good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I take my one damage. <laughs> Do you need to reroll that crit? I will get. I mean, he could. It doesn't, doesn't that crit. Doesn't it doesn't do any good anything. For him. No, okay. There's nothing special about that. All right, so I place within range three. Um, I really feel like I probably need to get rid of this Spider-Man, so I think we're just going to place right here. We'll just get out of homing rockets range. We'll make Iron Man have to move or something. Right. All right. So Iron Man well, moves. Gain another firmware token. It, that's exactly right. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna spend four. I'm going, to, I'm going to spend four. Yeah, I'm going to spend four power. Do you enough? And I'm going to enough! <laughs> and I'm going to throw you into Carol. No, if I do that, though, you could shoot. I don't care. I'm going to throw you into Carol Danvers. 
I don't even care anymore. The rage of the robot is really starting to come forth. Here. Okay, so so that means Carol Danvers. Oh, I'm still fine. I'm still fine. So Iron Man will take an automatic one. Yeah. And gain a power. Mm -hmm. And then Carol Danvers will have to make a dodge roll using her physical defense. Which is, yeah, it's three. Which is three. Okay. Against three damage. Because Iron Man size two plus one. But he's pretty, she's pretty tough actually because she has six hit points anyway. So you'll block two, you'll take one. Okay. So take one and gain a power. Yep. All right. That's Ultron. Iron okay. Man still has an action left. <clears throat> still has an action. Um, and I can't use Humming Rockets again? You could, but you're not in range anymore. You saw, you saw to that. I did, I did. I was like, I'm done with these rockets in my mouth. Uh, and beam five, but also I don't want to shoot through Spider-Man. <laughs> well, yeah, and range just five one. isn't, isn't going to reach you anyway. So, so right. Iron Man's basically going to have to move or just waste his action, which I don't think you want to do here. No, but what I could do... Oh, if I go over here and scan this, yeah. a person is going to come out. But you would you would get the person. They would come on you. You know they would they would they would go on your card. The other thing you could do is you could Avengers assemble, which would allow any of your characters to spend one to advance short, which would put Iron Man back in range. That's true. Is, but is there any five? I mean, how far how far is five? Right. So if I move short. Yeah, you definitely get there. Yeah, but I would, but I would fry Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> only, only if you use the Unibeam, just use the homing rockets, <laughs> or use the short advance, get a little closer, get within range four, which should be fully possible with a short move, and just use your repulsor beam. Then yeah. you don't even have to spend the two. You would have to spend three for Friday AI to get it up to six, but yeah. Okay. Well, Avengers Asse Avengers Assemble doesn't seem like the efficient play. I'm gonna okay. go here. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to rummage around in this trunk. All right, you're going to rummage in the trunk? <laughs> I'm going to rummage around in this trunk. So you're going to spend one. Yep. Roll two dice. Looking for crits or wilds. You I got, got it. it. Somebody came out for you. So Feels good. Here you go. There's your... This is, this is my... Uh, civilian. These are my people. Uh, and so I need so to... Now spend, you, but I actually need to spend one to pick them up, right? No, the one to search gives them to you. Oh, perfect. Yep, it's only if they're on the ground. Now if you Avengers assemble, you could actually drop that person off right away. Then we're going to do it. All right. This is so the best idea. So who's going to play Avengers Assemble? Because any of your characters, besides Cap, who's dazed, can spend one to immediately advance short. So we know Iron Man's going to do it, right? Yeah. So Iron Man's going to spend one. He's going to get to advance short. Mm -hmm. Does Vision want to advance short? Yeah, I think Vision is going to advance short over okay. here. So there's your short template. And then does Captain Marvel want to advance short? Because even though she activated, she could advance short. Um, that's true. Uh, but she'd have to spend one power, obviously, so... Well, she's got no shortage of power. No shortage of power. She has all the power. Oh, they're just all coming for me here. I like this. This is what, this is all I wanted. All of you, against <laughs> just me. <laughs> all right, so we're looking... And then you want to advance him over here, right? Mm hmm Okay, and, and score. so he just scores. So you go back up on the leaderboard. I do. <clears throat> all right, that's it. That is it. Well, I, I call that pretty effective. Yeah, that was only good. activation two, correct? Yeah, I mean, or was that activation I still, one? We still have one more activation. We yeah. still have another activation. Is it vision? Does vision start generating the power that I need uh, for the synthesoid avenger, or does vision search? Oh, move, yeah, yeah. Does and then yeah. deposit? Yeah, does vision rummage around? Well, I mean, he can still shoot. Because you'll get two actions and you can only move once. No, that's true. So, you can have your cake and eat it too. But I wouldn't be able to drop it off. Mm, you wouldn't be. Oh, and this already this is already searched, right? Uh, yeah, because Iron Man found something. Yeah, exactly. So, so I, oh, no search gotcha. there. Mm -hmm. So I will just start dumping solar energy beams. I think on. Woo! All right, so Ultron. we're just gonna start shooting Ultron. Yeah. All right, here we go. So this oh, is. Uh, and I'm phased. Yep. Yep. Actually, you know what? I'm close enough. I'm going to enhance my density. Well, so you picked that at the start of the round. So now oh. the only way you can switch it is with rapid phase. So if I attack you, you can choose. To there we go. It. Oh, that's that's really cool. All, All right. right. So we're gonna we're gonna solar beam. Yep. It's five dice. Five dice energy. I get four. I got one. Hey, this might be okay. This might be all right. That might do well. <laughs> uh, I mean, it did something. It did something. So I'll take one. A damage. I'll take one damage and gain a power. You will gain a power. That's right. 
And you didn't roll any wild, so you don't siphon any power from me. No. But I can use that same ability you again, You can do it right? again if you want, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. It's all you. Okay, here we go. That's better. I got That's two. That's exquisite. I got two. I got two. I'll take that. I'll take that. Especially with that. Oh, all right. So, you'll do two. Yeah. I block two, so I'll take nothing. But sap power doesn't care about damage. It yeah. just cares about wild. So you, you just will lose steal a power and gain a power, power from me. And then you will also gain the power from the using ability. the attack. Yeah. Just generate it like crazy. I feel great. All right. And is that activation number three for you guys? Yeah, for this turn. All right. So who's left to go here? We got Winter Soldier. That's, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I know. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So. Oh wait, Winter Soldier would go. So that was the second activation. Yeah. Because yeah. you guys should be all done by the time that I take my ah, third. Okay. Yeah. So Winter Soldier's up. So Winter Soldier. So what's his what's uh, his what's his move and range? He's an M, but he has a range five with the assault rifle, so I can't get there. I can. I mean, is it time for you to search? Close? Yeah. So I think I'm gonna search the truck. Go towards the truck. Yeah. Go towards the truck and see go if I can find. Go towards the truck. Do it. A civilian here. Oh, also, have you know, because you sapped my power, I wasn't able to enough you. <laughs> I, I, I think that might be Vision's permanent job now. This is just draining Ultron's power. <laughs> Four dice. Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah. Dead. Right there. So Boom. The civilian pops out. Um, I need to spend a power to pick him up. Nope. It just, nope. Go, just, just goes. get him. Just get him. Comes, yep, it the comes power with is the part of the search. But Let's you're see. not going to be able to move again. Well. I do have you can hide hydro tactics, tactics yep. but I don't know if that's valuable. I mean, it would so put you within you put me here, which there. would be closer to Ultron, who has a whole turn coming up. Whole turn. Yeah, because he can because he can warp from here to here. Yeah, and then do whatever he wants. Um, it's hard to say exactly what the right call is I mean, there. I just might as well sit on this power then. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're all good. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Doomsday machine time. <clears throat> We've cranked the juice back up. Yeah, I was just gonna say you got a little bit more juice. We've activated a bit more. This is this is much better, sort of. It's a little bit more. It's a little better. Diverse right. mix. So we're going to secondary power reserves, gain three power. Mm -hmm. We control a console, so we're not worried about that. Uh, next up, we're going to one path to peace. There are no tokens on the table though, so I don't get to send them off to their happy little farm. Uh, after that, we have horrifying scraping sounds. So anybody who's holding a token will drop the token. So it would be Iron Man and uh, oh, Iron Man drops his off, didn't he? Because he got yes, to yeah, yeah. Yep. So we need to advance you up by one mm -hmm. to six. Okay, uh, so we place that. And then last but not least, we have Devastating Barrage. So we'll deal three damage to each of these characters. Three to each? Oh, one, sorry, yeah. one. One okay. to three characters. We'll take one. So each person takes one and gains a power. So Black Panther, Iron Man, and Captain Marvel. Now I think it's time to start KOing characters. Well, let's... Okay, so... Now might be the time. To Vibrain? So yeah. it has to be your turn, Gotcha. Though. But you're so right. You won't be able to do it... You won't be able to do it now, but yeah. You're exactly right, Your, your next this turn. Would be the, this would be the time. This would be the time. Okay, we're going to get rid of this pesky Spider-Man, I think, first. Or we're going to try to. We'll see if it works. I'm going to... I'm going to Metallic Talons. Six dice physical. Okay. And I'm going to continue to explain the folly of man to Mr. Peter Parker. So I'll be counting blanks as successes. Which is pretty good because that at least gives me three. So I got three. Okay. Let's see. So I got three defense. Mm hmm. You have one so far, one, one so you far. can't reroll. And I have one that I can reroll, yep. correct? Spidey yep. sense. Ooh, all right, so you're going to take two. So he is... So he is KO'd. KO'd. So we have removed Spider-Man. And I will score a victory point for KOing a hero. Get you out of here. So we're done with Spider-Man. Perfect. And you had one damage on you? Because I gained power equal to the damage yeah. I deal. Mm -hmm. So I get one back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two. I'm going to matter transfer. Wow. Actually, do I even need to do that? Probably not. I'm not going to spend... I'm going to spend two, and I'm going to Folly of Man, and I'm going to spend two for Energy Blast. 
I'm going to energy blast me a Tony Stark. Really? Zap! Yes. Right. Is it a beam? It is not. Okay. It's just a shot. So I get six dice on this. Six dice energy against your three energy. We're going to see if we can take out two heroes this turn. I think you can. Make this situation a little bit better for I me. I believe in you. Well, I'm glad I follied because that's four right there. Five, six. All of them. <laughs> okay. Why? I you died. can do it. <laughs> three crits followed by three successes. Ow. You got this. That's two. Hey, that's not bad. That's two. So I take four. You take yeah, you take four, <laughs> which which will KO Mr. Tony Stark. Oh yeah, and all of his and his huge pile of energy. And his huge pile of energy. I told you, you Unibeam. You didn't listen to me. <laughs> well, I was kind I'll of... go up to six. We're tied again, gentlemen. I told you to fry Spider Man. You didn't listen to me. Exactly, and I will gain one back, and I'm just gonna be done there. So that is it. So yeah. end of round. You guys will score two, and I will score two for our console control. So we remain neck and neck. God, it's, it's coming down to it. And we'll clear all of these activation tokens. And all of these. And we will move to the new round. So everyone will power up. Good lord. You guys will take the Maybe first turn. Power up tokens. Yeah. <laughs> you run out of energy? Yes. There you go. I have so many. What a burden it must be. Here you go. You probably want the change. There's a bunch of threes too. All right, let's see what you got. You need All four right, to win. Uh, <coughs> four to win, gentlemen. And Bunky, we can't... Bucky should be able to deposit this person. You think? In one activation, I can use my uh, hydro tactics mm -hmm. to get within one, and then move yep. medium, and then deposit. Then that's. I, I think that's what we do. And Koya should be able then... to drop one off too. Uh, Koya doesn't. Have She'd have, have to find one. one. She'd find, find one. one here. Um, so there's new round. Uh, yep. There's multiple, so I don't put a because I did search here and I did find one. That was at the end of the round. We clear uh, all okay, those. So, like, so you those. get to do it. There's like somebody else in but, the meantime has crawled into this wait, gas. That's right. With Bucky, I should be able to be within range five also to start shooting. This is amazing deposit. So let's see exactly. I think you'll be the, just out because nah, Iron Man wasn't in. Ugh. Seemed cool. Uh, scoring a point is cool. You only yeah. need four. So to pick him up, I need to spend? Yep, you spend okay. one to interact and put him on your tail. And then I'll sheet. spend two. So that goes on Bucky. To go ahead and use Hydra Tactics. Okay, that so within me... range two, which yeah. is a Koye. And then what range one. And then range one. Oh yeah, this is easy. And then it's just like and a super spinning slam dunk. his move. Yep. Let's try and get as close. So you just have to make sure it's there. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So there. Seems good. For a deposit. Uh -huh. Drop him off. Gain a point. Now you got no, five. No, this is a winner. Mm -hmm. Keep up. Nice work. All right. So we're going to score a point here. You're going to go to nine. And you're going to unload yeah, we'll your, assault rifle. your assault rifle on me. So, All right, so five dice physical defense for me. Okay. I got, I got one. Four dice. Just one. Just we're, one. We're looking for the crits, Keith. You that, got your crits. There you go. Two there crits. crits. <laughs> there you crits. Thanks, Keith. We're adding two more dice. Happy birthday. We got one, one more, and you I get, get to spend re -roll a one. one. Well, you get a reroll one if you're within range one for Spets. Ah, uh, you're great. But you can use King of Wakanda, spend that one power that's on you to reroll that one die. Oh. It's off uh, Winter oh. Soldier. Winter Soldier? Yep. Oh, it's the team. Hey! Oh, oh my gosh. So that's. So we've got five hits. So I'm going to take four of those. And I generate four power. Oof. Kiko, Oof. fucking via senor. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I have, I have three left before I take another firmware token. That was number one. Is Akoya gonna gonna go, or do you, are you guys are you smelling the 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 oil in the water as it were here? The sharks across <laughs> the table. <laughs> Well, the main thing is... Did you make God bleed? <laughs> yeah. Is that what happened here? <laughs> here, so here's the thing. So, a, <laughs> we have a bunch of plays. So, Koye right. is a freebie mm -hmm. whenever we want, right? He can teleport from here to there. Correct. Bay, functionally speaking, for free when mm -hmm. his turn comes back. Is it a good well, idea... If you, if you if you damage my firmware, I can teleport to here. That's, yeah. that's when I get to do it. So, if you knock me out, I could jump over here. Yeah, now, so. now he can jump over here... He might be able to search and then long move back. Right? Okoye 
Is even search. cleaner. Is even cleaner because we got an easier search. Well, and here. it's a four die search, right? Mm -hmm. And a four die mm -hmm. search. Can she get close enough here? She's got a. Let's grab, grab, grab that template and let's take a look. She can definitely make it with the base. You think? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, totally. You have to add the uh -huh. base to it, so. And then. Sp vibranium spear. <laughs> Vibra vibranium shielding, all five of these characters. Woo! That's hot stuff. The blackest of panthers is ready to go here. Yeah. Well, that's a really that dangerous. It, it, it's a really, really dangerous play. I mean, I can. Carol can. I think Carol can wax Ultron. Oh! Like. I mean, binary form in a blast? Well, yeah. definitely she can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I have, I'm sitting on some pretty robust. Uh, binary form energy blast by itself. It would cost five. Well, it would be four, because remember it. Cause it'd, like be four. it'd be four. It'd be four. Uh, yep. And then until the start of this character's next innovation, I add two dice to attack and defense. Yep. So that would take strike up to that. It would take strike up to five. But rocket punch, can you be staggered? I cannot be staggered. Okay. I'm immune to it as as a master of metal. Then the right then the right call there is definitely to binary form strike. Binary okay. form energy blast is yeah, the right yeah, 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 binary form yep. energy blast. Yep. Six dice and re -roll I can reroll any, any number. Mm -hmm. So that might be good too, but we but we need to make we need to get points. The truth is we need yes. four points. Mm -hmm. well, you need you need three now. Three points, three right? Points. Mm -hmm. Three points. So can she deliver a point? Can T'Challa no, no, deliver until a he point? Rolls four dice. Yeah, right. This is the exciting mm -hmm. part. We go on Okoye. I think I think we go Okoye, and then we okay. decide what we want the last one to be. Okay. You put the pressure on me if you manage to score three this so this Okoye turn. So Okoye spend one. Okay. Four dice. Have a look. See. Crit wild. Nothing. No, there's nobody in there. She failed. <sighs> she failed in her mission. What? Well, is she gonna? It, 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 she she can use that energy. She can't search. She can't search this again. But mm -hmm. she could move somewhere and search something else. So. Uh, or I can go and flip a switch. Or you can go flip a switch. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, so medium. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. so, yep. No. And then I'll lose my poor console again. Well, and she, so what's is there a what's the um, Black so, Widow play? I don't think Black Widow has that much of a play right now. Okay. Oh, uh, she uh, moves long, and she's yeah. right next to a building. Mm -hmm. She is. She'd be just a little bit out. She could sure shit. And this is this is one time use. Yep. Okay. Well, and it, so, she's not technically part of your yeah. Avengers oh, true, squad, true, true. So. There's never going to be a more optimal opportunity for so vibranium Black shielding. Panther doesn't have to activate either to play the card. It just has to be your turn. So you can so play the card and not have Black that. Panther do anything. Yep. And what does it grant <laughs> us? So, you're gonna, so everyone within range 5 of Black Panther is going to gain invulnerability. And Kiko can tell you what invulnerability does because it's on his card. Shaves a point of damage off of every attack. Mm -hmm. uh, X is equal to the amount of power spent. So that was 5. So yeah. I can do it to mm -hmm. that, that amount. Yeah. Um, and when defending against... Uh, Physical or energy physical attacks. Attack. This is what you want. Oh, yep. when this character would suffer uh, damage from an enemy effect, reduce the amount suffered by one to a minimum of one. Yep. Okay, so shave one right off. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's uh, just like having the Invincible Iron Man rule on all of your people mm -hmm. in okay. range five. So Captain Marvel, I think, is the right call. Do it. So she still has an action left if oh, she, she wants it, because you only moved once, correct? Uh, I only moved once, yes. Yep. Yeah. So you have an action left. So you could move again if you wanted to, put yourself in position. Yeah, you can think. stay where you are. <clears throat> Move back for another search attempt. Well, next, uh, yeah, she yeah. might. It, yeah. The truth is, is that she could It'd be next round, but yeah, she'd be right yeah. there, ready yeah. to go. So let's. That's what we want. Just get her within. Mm -hmm. Get her as far away yeah. from this as she can possibly be. Making sure. Here. Exactly. Just set her up for that success <laughs> later. <laughs> yes. Next turn. The alley oop. All right. So now Carol is gonna uh, hopefully. All right, we're going binary. Yep, binary form. Ooh. All right, here's um, our token to tell us the Captain Marvel is binary. That's right. And so that means that's a six dice. Uh, the energy blast is yep. six dice with full reroll uh, capability. I only get four. You just have to do three to me. That's right. And I can reroll. So yay. I got... Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty ready for this. I got All three. Right. I just got three. All right. it's, not, it's not as good as it could have been. Hey! Oh, well, you can't reroll the skull. That's that's my only. No. That's my only joy right now. Definitely add two dice. So you can add two dice. Okay. That's oh, what we want. 
Good God. So and I'll reroll these. And you can reroll, yeah, anything that's not a skull. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're looking at we're looking at six, six to my three. I'm gonna take three, which is exactly what you needed. I will I will gain three, go to ten power and another corrupted firmware. F Ultron. And I get to place within three. Uh that was your, this is only your second activation? Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna place here. I'm gonna spend, oh, it's five for enough now. <laughs> it's getting more, ex oh, it's so is expensive. It, is, is it, it's getting more expensive because of the corruption? Mm hmm it's So expensive, but so sad. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Your soldier already <laughs> went. Mm. And I have another activation after this, which I mean, I have another another. No, you have another action. Yeah, and I'm only gonna be able to do one to you. Yeah, placing here was probably the wrong play, but that's where I am Just now. Come to those claws, <laughs> the yeah. Black Panther claws. I'm gonna spend five, and I'm going to enough. So we're going to where would our short template go? We're gonna throw Marvel into Winter Soldier. <laughs> Clunk. So Winter Soldier has a dodge. So Winter Soldier makes a dodge against three damage, and Carol just takes one automatically. Mm -hmm. So what is the what do I do for a dodge? It's so just it's physical. It's just physical, physical defense. defense. Gotcha. Yep. Same roll. Yep. Nothing. So nothing. So you okay. just take three, which will daze you. Yes. Well, here, hold on. T takes two, right? Oh Ooh. yes, he's right. I did, but that will also daze it's me. Still that still five. <laughs> still, uh, still daze him, no, but very true. Good. Yes, he would take two. Oh, and so and I, I would have taken less. I, well, minimum, it's minimum one, one because of the yeah, vibranium so you still shield. take one, um, and, and you gain a power from it. Obviously, oh, I do. So, so I, I take. I had. So you had three on three. You. So I do a take. Take two. So you gain two. Gain two. Gotcha. Yep. yep. And then you'll just be dazed. All right. Finish. Finish your turn there, Carol. Now you could rocket punch if you really. Yeah, I was just really gonna say. Need to the rocket punch, uh, but it. I would do it. But, um, uh, I th so it's four dice with full rerolls. Well, it's six dice with full rerolls because you're still binary. Oh, the binary form. Yeah, oh, it, and, oh, it until the start of the next activation. Activation? Yeah. yeah. It lasts for a while. So why not? So I could rocket punch for nine dice. You could rocket punch for nine dice. You don't get to reroll yeah. any of your misses. So, nine, so nine dice or six dice with rerolls. It's got to be the six dice, right? Could I have used Spence Snatch Training? To try and negate one of those. No, because I believe it's attack, attack or defense. One die when either attacking or being attacked by a character yeah. that is within so one. A throw isn't an attack. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. So what do you think, Keek? Six dice with re rolls or nine dice? I think it's got to be six dice with re rolls. I like re rolls. Mathematically, you are correct. <laughs> You'd know. I would. <laughs> I've seen the chart. What a scary <laughs> job. What a scary I job. I didn't make the chart up though. That that's the scary part. The brain that can make that. But yes, the rerolls technically should be more reliable than Kay. the nine dice. Let's see what we got. Oh no. Oh my Jesus what is, Christ. What is this? What if you don't have to reroll? What re -roll? is this? I, <laughs> imagine. That is stupid. You should have just rolled nine Not, dice. Imagine yeah. there's no rerolls. You made a huge mistake. I'm just going to throw that. You have made a there. huge mistake. Maybe this will use the reroll. <laughs> no, why, why bother? You really blew it. You, you did. did. God. You did. Would you, just, just for the sake of science, roll two more dice for me and see if you can just one shot at me. <laughs> Yeah, no. you could have, you could have. <laughs> All right, here we go. I have four dice energy. I'll block two. I'll block two. <laughs> so I'll take five. Oh, my gosh. All right, I have three Carol left. fucking Danvers, everybody. I will, gain, I will gain five and go back to ten. I'd throw you, but what? I can't throw you into... Oh, I can throw... I guess I could throw you into a Winter Soldier, even though he's dazed. Nothing happens to him. But it would it would daze you. It would daze me, spite. but I acted. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this guy. I've been, been driven mad with power. Enough! <laughs> I'll throw you into Winter Soldier and daze you. Ultron has had enough of all of this. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that was three activations, right? Yeah. So my so. my first turn. You have... I have three left. Three left, so... Three left until I go to four firmware. So do we want the claws to just clean up? Here we go. Yeah. One, robot. two, three, four, five. All right, five dice on my Doomsday console. It's a lot of the sames. It's a lot it's of samesies. Energy. It's a lot of samesies. So I'm going to get three energy, which is cool. 
Uh, we're going to remove all civilians on the table. One path apiece, but there's nobody there. And then we will have a horrifying scraping sound. Do you guys have any tokens? No. All right, so we're going to go to Devastating Barrage. Because we pick them up and drop them off the same day. We're like a service. You are like a, like a good cleaner service. The only person I can hit with that is Black Panther. So Black Panther will take one and gain a power. Okay. Ugh. What rough oh stuff, my friend. Rough stuff. Do I even do I even attempt to take down Captain America here? Well, Captain America is over here and he's doing great. Don't worry about him. <laughs> Captain Marvel is still in binary form, and I add yeah, she's all also, my defense. She's roles. also dazed, so I don't I don't need to deal with her. <laughs> I'm just thinking about stuff. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking about stuff. I have a big <laughs> test. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. I've had enough of all of you. Clearly. We're going to... Ah, uh, see, this is what I said. <laughs> it changes all of his mental characteristics when we <laughs> touch those here. buttons. Because he got fucked on it once We're before, here. and now he's lost his mind. <laughs> Ugh. All he right. wants to do is touch these buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend two, and I'm going to matter transfer. That's how much he's spending energy to, to move across the street. I'm, I, and I'm going to Rage of Ultron. Because I have three firmware tokens, the range of it went from one to two. So I'm going to make attacks against uh, Black Widow and Okoye. And there's a question in chat, and I'll explain it now. So um, one of the things about beams and area attacks, yeah. the question always comes up, like, what if Captain America is within, like, what if he was here within range two of both of them? Yeah. So beams and area attacks, the attacks happen one at a time. Yeah. In the order that I choose. Which is why, like, when you were attacking, when you were doing Bucky and stuff, I picked Captain America first to try to force your hand with the... And it worked. ...with the thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, Captain America can, if he has the power, bodyguard for all of the attacks if he's within range. So if you had Cap right here and I chose Black Widow first, and then I chose Okoye and Cap just had power and wasn't falling over... And he felt like he doing it. ...he could bodyguard every single shot. So could I bodyguard, and then if I had an additional uh, money, could I bodyguard and then Vibranium Shield on the bodyguard mm -hmm. in defense? Yep. Oh, because yep. I'm the target, so yep. that's fine. Yep. Okay, so nine dice energy. We're gonna start with a Koye. Okay. Uh, I only got three dice against this. That's a lot of energy. But I do have one success. You do. You will reduce it to a minimum of one, and I'll roll only sort of okay. All right. So we get one more. Uh, I've got one defense and one crit. Ugh! I should have followed a man, but I don't. I don't. I don't have the power. Uh, I got. Do I have a reroll here? I... You have your door in general of the door melage, eh? Okay. So that would uh, this character one. may reroll one die mm -hmm. in his attack. And you both also benefit from martial artists, so... As a defense. And uh, martial artists... I believe that's just blanks. This adds blanks, but, but no I'll blanks. take three successes. Alright, so you're going to take two, <laughs> and then you're going to reduce it by one. So you're just going to take one for my rage. It was a very impotent rage. <laughs> it just took a few stomps. A few was, quick like, stomps on the floor. So one damage, gain one. Okay. Alright, now we're going to do Black Widow. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here we go. Oh, she only has a two defense. This was better. This was oh yeah, better. Black Widow is, is designed to be as quick, like get in and get out. Uh, that is one success, and because of martial art, or no. I, yep, you have martial art. I do have it. Okay. So I'm going to push Akoya really so quick. So blanks are also uh, Because I dealt damage to Akoya, I'm going to push her short, so I'm going to push her over here. <coughs> Alright, so you got two? Two successes. Okay, so you're going to take four. <laughs> Okay. Which will daze you. Oh, so you will hell. be dazed. I won't be able to push you because you're dazed before I can push. And that is going to be Ultron's whole turn. So you're that's a got, bummer. We got rid of a Black Widow, so she can't so you're drop sitting anybody on, off. But you're sitting on five. If you did one last damage, sitting I on five damage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> could have counter strike, could have grabbed a person, run mm -hmm. them into the center. There's so many things. So you're sitting good. on. So, so, so she's checked, right? Yep. Yeah. So she's checked. She's mm -hmm. she could activate, but because she's now dazed, okay. she won't be able to right. activate. Right. So so you guys have Vision, Vision, Cap, Captain America, and, and Black Panther, and mm -hmm. Black Panther. Yep. So do we try to kill him with Captain America and Black Panther? <laughs> it's possible. Now, well, you have to remember, you have to do one more firmware token after the fourth. Oh. Oh, so, so it's you got to give me the five. Oh, well, yeah, it's five. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. Right, but you're sitting on, I'm you have three on now. Yep. It's, it's going to take, what, three damage to get you yep. one more token. Yep. And then mm -hmm. eight more to, to knock me out. I like those. Or ones. you could just, you know, drop off a person from that car, score yeah. your three points and win. I can't do it because <laughs> um, as much as you might like 
<laughs> to obfuscate your actual intentions. <laughs> um, this guy. Oh, actually, well, God, you just have to move. God, you know what? You're smarter. Move than... once, <laughs> and then move again. Now you have to find the person on two yeah, dice. Yeah, that's the problem. That's that's the gamble. That's the tricky here. bit. That said, I don't know if your little like tiny shield you're gonna throw at me is really gonna make a difference. <laughs> yeah, you may be right on that. Honestly, as much as I hate to admit it. <laughs> I mean, no, the, until no, you roll no, poorly. No, 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 the truth is, it's within an inch of this, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I right. totally have that from here with the M. Just get, I keep forgetting the base. Yep, the base yeah. adds movement. So the two dice rolls the issue of The two finding, dice rolls, that's your question. Yeah. Now that said... But it's not an action. It's not mm -hmm. an action, so right. you can at least look, you can check. Because just, you, just, just remember looking. You, it's like, this is why I have yep. Tinder, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't <laughs> use true. It's true. But I, I like to yeah. know what's out there. Yeah. Um, so you have to move first if this is a success. Uh, I think... He might be okay with no. The you base. think he might be okay? I'm legit. I just yeah, tested this. With the okay, perfect. it's it's mm -hmm. a su the bases in this game yeah. are a surprising amount of space. Thirty five mil is yeah right. So it's, no, it's a bit of extra <coughs> so distance. I check and it's All like right, have go. I ever rolled an important roll? Here we go. This is this <laughs> might be. It. I mean, it's not the game winning roll, but it's definitely the game changing roll. This is it. This is the moment. I need the swirly thing or does the your does your field goal kicker like yes. bounce one off? Yes. No, That's neither of the no, I nobody's think. coming out for Captain America. Well, that America. sucks. <laughs> um, all right, so but, but now you go to Plan B, cost Plan B. Thing. I just well, except for power, cost you one power. Which is the you weren't going to use that currency anyway. of the universe. You weren't going to use um, that anyway. It wasn't important. So I can throw stuff. Most of my range is at three and four, mm -hmm. right? So I can move out here and and yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and be yeah. a factor and you try can, to and try to hit. You can throw a shield at me for sure. Yeah, um, and then. It costs the first superpower. That includes the attacks. Not right? attacks. Attacks are not just superpowers. special yep. stuff. Yep. Okay. But you only have one ranged option, which is the the shield. Which so. is the shield throw. It's not incredible. I mean, it's... you just you just have to roll well. That's all it takes. You roll well, any attack well, that has some amazing damage. All it takes. That's all it takes. That's literally the secret to this game: is roll well. So should I actually be going over here <laughs> to do something else? <laughs> Is this what it, what's he saying? Should I do the opposite? <laughs> Here oh. comes a shield. All right, do it. All right, four dice. All right, I get you five see dice to defend. Now experience it. That's a great defense roll. This is this is a supreme defense roll. I will I will just block all of your non damage. Okay. For days. So cool. Uh, <laughs> grab this. We'll put a little check mark next to him because he did such a good job. He didn't even let me put the check mark no. on him like that. <laughs> I think we're just done. Wow. <laughs> I don't think hey. you should. I don't think you should play with. I don't him think anymore. you should play I don't anymore. Think you should play with him anymore at all. All right. All right. Here. So, 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 so what Panther do you think? and Vision are left. Uh, Panther can do some scratching. Yeah, Panther can scratch him up, but uh, he might also be able to get us if he pounces. That's a short, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a short. So he can pounce, get stuff. What's his movement? Long. Long. Yeah, he's got a long move. Yeah. This <sighs> all boils down to. He should I, be. He can I don't like hate this. Back. Okay. Cars are two. But we, we, uh, we he, can't pounce though because he only has one power. Yeah, that's the issue. Oh, but it doesn't matter because you don't need to pounce because he doesn't have the civilian. Or well, it would. Yeah. 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 It would. Mm -hmm. I think if you find somebody. I think scratching. Scratching. You know, use me as a kitty scratching post. I like yeah, it. Just go shred him. Let's see it. Or I or? could flip switch. Well, Vision can also flip the switch. Vision can search and then deposit. Maybe. I mean, Vision's move is medium. Well, you, you move him first. Yeah, you move him first. Yep, move him first. Oh, and then no, that's, yeah. that's a freebie. Yeah. All right. So you're doing the switch, so, or you're going after and human? Switch in person. Let's see. So I could move, search, yep. get, and then, and then go. Mm -hmm. um, the switches are nice. <laughs> you know? They're very nice. <laughs> move here. You can fly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Get the, do the I switch. Mean, you could probably do both. Yeah. I think I can do both. You got another power? He's got. Oh, dude, he's I got, got a power. I got. Power. I'm yeah. jammed. Got lots power. of power. So M. Okay. Right. Yep. Yeah. So you're just going to make sure you're positioned in M to deposit a human. So you're just going to make sure you're right like there. Yeah, I think you're. You should be fine. Yeah, you should. Be fine. Yeah. Oh, I think so this is. Right a, right I here. think this is. I think this is a winning play. Yeah. So then I, I do this right. to. So we're gonna flip the switch. To touch the ding switch. dong. Yeah. Flip the switch. I feel so free. Yeah. Now I just got to get the person out of it. Here, spend one of your roll dice. Yeah. The the robot man is going to show up and try to convince a yeah, terrified well. civilian <laughs> whose city is being attacked by killer robots That's to right. come out of the car 
And into his safe yeah, the and robot awaiting arms. Man swoops down. Exactly. <laughs> swoops down. This is going to be great. He starts you, pushing you, buttons. You're going to see. Okay, Everything's going to be fine. I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> nope. Gee, what a shock. The terrified civilians are not interested in being saved by the robot man whose brethren are murdering all of the other people in well, the city. Listen, that's obviously that's a, a hateful stereotype. <laughs> I, so, uh, is there any kind of beam? No, it's all nightmare. All right. <laughs> but I got the switch. You, that's did, you, you certainly you did. You got the switch. You did. So you we got one more action. Uh, yeah, but for what? Um, Position yourself for a. You can a synthesis dumpster. and just gain two extra. Yeah, I should just gain two energy. That's all I got. All right, take it away. So it, no, it's, it's because I really appreciate Ack Inc. and just the. I'm gonna help you out. Oh, I'm gonna help you out. Thank you. So here's 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 a secret. Yeah. You have a you have a um, calculated trajectory, right? Yeah. So what I does can that choose do? an interactive uh -huh. terrain feature or an enemy character. Uh -huh. Uh, both of size three or less, and within two inches, mm -hmm. or within, within two, mm -hmm. and throw at M. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever a terrain feature gets destroyed, a civilian pops out of it. Right. When you throw something, terrain feature gets destroyed. Yeah. So if you calculate a trajectory, you'll get to put out a civilian. Oh, so you'll, but, you'll but, but, oh I would take this within this. Uh -huh. I throw it over here. Civilian here. Yeah. Pick them up. Pick them up. Run him out. He's just hiding Calculated in the car. Calculated trajectory isn't an action. It's hiding in the car. It's not an action. No. No. It's not an action. He's under the car. That's where they're hiding. They're hiding under the car. Okay. Well, I... So now just gingerly lift the car. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're right. saying... You're, you're saying that you're, you're going to spend... You're going to spend two for calculated spend trajectory. Spend two. Which yep. is what I did here. Yep. Right? Yep. yep. Okay. So... This gets destroyed. You're yes. going to throw it... You're going to throw it really dashingly like medium into the garbage truck. Bam. Boom. Because you heard noise. You're really yep. frustrated. There you yep. go. There's there's the person. So then I take I use an energy yeah, you spend one to get them, pick them up, because that's where they were the whole time. That's They're right. hiding there the whole time, and then you just were unaware. I get big points, and then you can <laughs> then you can move your your medium, yeah, move your medium as as close as you want here, like right there. Mm -hmm. Drop them off and score your point. Yeah, there you I go. did that. It's, it's not necessarily an intentional thing, but it is a fun thing. They I did it. They're hiding under their car. I did a good job. Of course, now you can't search that car anymore, so there's a trade-off. You know? I'm smart. There's a trade-off. Uh, no, so it's... it's uh, you need two to win. Bell for his two plan. To yeah. Two to win. It's, it's the, it's the, wait, this is the it's real mine over here. So is it is it time for Black Panther to Black, shred Black Panther this? better do some I stuff. I don't know if I... I mean, is sh what is shredding going to get us at this point? Well, I mean, you're going to put four firmware on me. Hmm. And we don't want him to have three firmware. Or I can set up... I can set up to search. Or you set up to search, yeah. This mm -hmm. dump. Uh, this, this. But th the issue is that since you're the third activation, yeah. I do need has, to go back to back twice. <laughs> he has many capabilities right. that he can use to make you drop them and then earn VPs gotcha. right off of them. Right. So there's no reason to buy him a pinata. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I helped you. You can help me. Never. Come on. It's, it's been a trade off. No, I'm, I'm the scorpion in the story. Mm. <laughs> All right. Do we want to. What range are we looking at here? Uh, range two on your on my kinetic on your kick burst. for melee and your burst. Mm. Yeah, that's the bummer. If only yeah. you had two energon. If only. Then you could pounce. That would be the best. It would be. That'd be the best option. This would be pounce the time. is a really yeah. that's pounce fun. Really, it's really good. Yeah, it's fun. I like throwing. I like throwing Black Panther into other people. Because then they take the damage too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but shredding him, All right. getting it, getting that fourth token on him doing means this? that yeah. last round. We have two options. Well, you have long, so like you I can go. Long. Where do I want to position? As far as you want. I mean, you go up there. That'll put you right next to this. You could even search it if you wanted to. Watch him throw you into that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I could throw you into that. You'd only take one though. <laughs> it's throwing things into you that causes more damage. Throwing uh, you into something just I, does one. I, I think, especially since Koya for a search. Yeah, so. yeah, and Black Panther is hurt. Like I think that we, I think that we want to. He's wounded. Exactly. He's wounded. We we want to get. We want to mitigate. Yeah. We want to. We want to utilize. Tossing. Right? All right. All right. Let's just get here. Okay. Move. Okay. And a little bit of scratching. I got. All right. Here a, we go. Uh, dice roll of five. So five. So five versus five. Oh, that's that's an amazing attack roll. It's not so much a defense roll. That is an amazing attack roll. Oh my gosh! All right. So what do we have here? Four. So you will, you will, you will four corrupt my firmware one more corrupted time. Corrupted ass firmware. And I have four corrupted firmware. I will gain four power. You will. 
And You're gonna surge with power. I will place within three. <clears throat> That's your last action. Right, well, I can't gonna, pounce. We're gonna do this. We have the energy <laughs> now. Well, the main thing is you have that so that we can utilize that in the future if we need to get yeah. that free movement and then Go get right out. here. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you, are you gonna pounce on me? Just for the extra damage? Just to start, just start this the process? Does an attack built into it? Well, it's a throw. So when he yeah. throws himself into mm -hmm. another character, he deals damage equal to his You deal three damage. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! I would get to dodge it, but right. it would be three damage. It kind of warm it up. Chris? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm... I do have a pool here. Mm. Uh, for King of Wakanda. That's true. Mantle of the Black Panther is also pretty saucy. Gets we'll make attacks. This reroll any right. number of your dice mm -hmm. for all of your attacks for the round or for the turn. Okay. What do we want to do here? Well, I mean, you can definitely. It's it's all more damage. Mm -hmm. Which next turn, if we're going to see what he does after his two back to back yeah. things, yeah. we'll see who's yeah. left. Yeah. We'll see who's but left. Any damage that's on him. Mm -hmm. Is just makes our job easier because then right. we have two choices. Let's go ahead and pounce. all right, we're pouncing. Boop. All right, here we go. So I'm doing a dodge roll against three mm -hmm. damage. I will block one. I'll take two. So I'll gain two power, two damage. Okay, so he's got six left. All right, so and now, that that is it. Right, and now you go forever. Is now now I go forever. <laughs> <laughs> I go forever. All right, so first, first go around. Uh, we're going to Doomsday Machine, of course. Oh, but he, so but he's got four. four dice. We get four, and we're just going to roll all those. Um, horrifying scraping sound. Nobody's. Oh, Vision's got one. He got rid of that. You got to pull yeah. that, pull that one off. Perfect. No, yeah, no, no. Because you, you dunked yeah, that you person. Oh, you dunked. We yeah, forgot to take it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah, we're good on that. Uh. All right, so this is just all going to become devastating barrage. Vision will just take one, and Captain America will take one, and Black Panther will take one. And they gain energy. And they each gain one energy. Yep. Oh. What's that? We don't take one. Well, well minimum, minimum of one. one. Minimum, oh, minimum gotcha. of one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it's really interesting because there's a lot of cases where that grind, <laughs> you can feel that grind <laughs> yep. coming in, right? It's just slow and steady. Okay. So Ultron's <laughs> going to start. He's going to spend one. Touching his thing. And he's going <laughs> to flip that. He's going to move to here. He's going to spend one. He's going to flip that. I know why. He's going to take a second action to move to here. He's going to spend two. It's a matter transfer. You know why, right? To here. But he's too far away. <laughs> he is too far away, but that's okay. Because that's just, that's just number one. Yep. Number two. <laughs> number two. You aren't. <laughs> You aren't doing it. Here's here's the amazing here's so here's the thing. If I don't if I don't roll either a better age or secondary power reserves, I won't have the power to do it. Oh, but you will but on four dice. Do, I can't. If I do, <laughs> secondary power reserves. So I'll gain three. Got some energy on. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we've got one path to peace. There are no tokens. Um, horrifying scraping sound. Uh, then a better age. I get to destroy a terrain piece. We'll destroy this and gain four power. Go up to eight. Uh, and then we have devastating barrage. So we'll deal one point to Vision, Captain America, and Black Panther, which will daze Black Panther. And then, and then we will go for the brass ring, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going to. Spend two for <coughs> matter transference and go here. I'll spend one to push the button. Then I'm going to move. So that's where attacking is bad. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go to here. <laughs> and I'm going to spend one. <clears throat> and I'm going to activate my doomsday machine with all four consoles and immediately win. It was so close. Oh, two man. points away. It was a good game. Two points it away. Was. It was the back to back. <laughs> but it's like, but we had the. 
we it's, it's like what I was trying to pull off with Ryan. I, yep. There was like two victory paths, and I just wanted to be close enough on two sides of it. <laughs> it, was, it was really close. Like you so were two had away. Black Panther not done any damage. It would have been a you little. Wouldn't have had the a little power. Harder, yeah. You might not have had the energy to do, to do the it. Energy to yep. do all that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I yep. loaded him up. You yeah. Did. You gave, and then he was able to. Needed. Then he was able to just warp oh, around. Yeah, warp around. Now, of course, this is the hard mode. So yeah. again, um, the Doomsday Machine is is much more impressive, and you get fewer tactic cards. Mm -hmm. So the Doomsday Machine basically, like in the lower difficulties. Oh, that's right. Less Normally, you'd have something important. like five cool. Five in yeah. the normal game, so mm -hmm. you get three in normal mode for Ultimate Encounter. So six between the two players. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the ultimate encounter. Uh, all will be metal. What a blast! Ultron, master of metal. Um, there's a, a whole blast. bunch more of these that we have planned and in the works. So, like we said, we revealed Thanos. So you're going to take on Thanos in the full Infinity Gauntlet. Each one has its unique scenario, um, and then of course you can build any squad you want. To well, yeah. It was just, so we we could try to address yep. what we feel were the shortcomings here, mm -hmm. just with the teams. Yeah, yeah. You can switch them up. Um, like each of them has a squad limit, so for this one it's 15 um, threat value yeah. for each squad, so we built you guys within 15. Um, and again, the cool thing about this one is that we designed it to be played specifically the with the core box. Yeah. So you can just play with all the core boxes. download stuff. a PDF. And download the PDF, download you all the cards and the rules, and you're ready to go. So, And our <sighs> goal is to introduce more and more of these. We're working on one right now that's going to be pretty incredible, I think, um, and we're having a lot of fun with. So yeah, it's just another game mode. You know, like I said, the big thing for us was how how do we tell awesome, fun stories right. in the Marvel universe with Marvel Crisis Protocol, and so this is one of those expressions. Well, when when that one's closer to done, like when you hear, yeah. like when the little thing like pops out of the turkey, yeah, yeah, or a bell, however you're yeah. doing your turkey, however you set <laughs> it up, I will bring, I will bring, a, I'll rematch you with you, Thanos. You, you I'll, bring, bring, I'll rematch you with Thanos. Bring that stuff back over, and and let's. <laughs> Let's let's see if we can let's see if we can get you next time. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Well, All thank right. you so much oh, for blast. enjoying the game and playing. I, I thought you had me there for a second, but it then was close. You had man. a couple rolls went bad, and then mm -hmm. it was like, oh, okay, I got a shot. But you had you were two rolls away. If Jerry could just find people, yeah. And now you we, have we a force there. switch win. And now I have a force switch win. Rub it in Josh's face. That's right. You? That's right, <laughs> Josh. Josh. <laughs> Here you go. No, all Josh's aren't yeah. on the same. All Josh's in the building. All Josh's. There's, all Josh's are on the same level. Different, that's the problem. different Josh's. For not, Josh's. It is, it's not just one Josh. Yep. This is our Josh. You can't. You know what I don't. There you can't you abuse our Josh. That's for us to do. Okay. <laughs> well, I feel like Kiko's the one abusing all Josh's right now, but I'm okay with my Josh getting abused by <laughs> anti-Josh anti rhetoric. Anti-Josh uh, rhetoric. Let me explain to you the folly of man. Have you seen our literature? Yeah, exactly. Like the folly yeah. of man. Uh, listen, I had. I Most had people base Peter Josh. Parker died. <laughs> As a direct result of being exposed to your rhetoric, out. it was <laughs> not good. It was not good. Out. Well, precious chat. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for uh, rolling through. This is Marvel Crisis Protocol, mm -hmm. uh, the special fancy pants mode uh, designed for a high intensity story play. Uh, yeah, exactly. Do we have any, any word on playmat release? So the playmat. Oh, this is nice. Uh, we yeah. have this, not this one, but the other one that we've shown on stream. That's scheduled for like the first week in February, so very soon. Um, and then I think this one is the month following. But I'm not entirely sure on this one. Um, but I know the first one is coming out next month and pretty early. Radical. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for rolling yeah, through. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, guys. Had had a blast. Indeed.